Good morning, y'all.
What up and welcome back to another episode here of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Wake and Bake. Uh, today is an Xavier-less podcast, which is kind of great because he's out there with his sugar daddies out there in uh, Oregon or something like that. I don't know what he's... He's somewhere out there doing comedy, taking pictures of everybody but himself on stage. Uh, I DM'd him that yesterday. <laughs> and he was shit. like, you're a jerk. But, um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, joining me, sitting in his seat, is the one and only Rock Sampson. Good morning. Who will be doing a closeout as well as usual. Yeah, yeah. Gonna do. We're going to keep the same theme with doing the remixes and stuff. That's been a lot of fun lately. I really enjoy the fact that I had to raise XGC. It was so low. <laughs> Is that because he's tall? Like, what, what, like what? No, I think I'm the same height, if not slightly taller. Yeah, I don't know why his seat is very low, but maybe it's the proportions, like your legs. Maybe you got long legs. I got, yeah, I got a, I got a short torso, but long legs. Yeah, alien you legs. Three men, three little boys in one coat. <laughs> just, <laughs> just like a couple of kids trying to get into an R-rated movie in a trench coat. Maybe, you, maybe you got alien legs, dude. Oh, uh, maybe Xavier is an alien. He is technically an he illegal alien. He is technically an illegal. He technically alien. is an illegal alien. But if he was a real alien under there, I would, I would, I would, I would that would just be the cherry on top. That would be. Yeah, it would. Uh, joining us also running the boards is the one and only Ray. What's up, Ray? Morning shot films. Thank you. Good morning and thank you. I'm excited for today. <laughs> yep. And uh, what what is it? I don't. Uh, now what is it? I do not want to mispronounce your name. Aparna Brielle. Aparna Brielle. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the one and only Aparna Brielle joining us. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. I mean, you're 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 out there doing like legit big things. Like when you're when you end up on Netflix and people can Netflix and chill to you, you know what I'm saying? Like that's a whole different caliber. Like well, you're out there doing you so you're doing the Lord's work, you know? <laughs> I, I don't know if it's the Lord's work, but it's it's someone's work for sure. But I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, no, I'm excited to be here today. How did uh, how did this whole like acting uh, journey or just whole uh, thing start for you? Like, did you have one of those parents that was like a like a not like a honey boo boo parent, but like hey, <laughs> you get, <laughs> yeah, like you. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> like, that is what I always whenever I hear stage mom or see a stage mom, I immediately think think of honey boo boo. Actually, so like you know, I'm with you. No, my parents were actually not that way at all. They um they were very encouraging, but. They were very like, let's just throw our kids in extracurriculars and see what they like. And um, I did a lot of dance. And then I ended up being like the weird kid at my Catholic school. And like that meant going into theater, I guess. And I loved it. And and then I asked my parents if I could do it. And they were like, if, if you want to pay for your classes, like you do what you want to do. And that's kind of just how it happened, honestly. <laughs> okay, wait. How old were you and how did you get the money to yeah, get Yeah, because that's classes? like very supporting parents. Like, I remember, like, I couldn't even tell my parents. Like, I felt sad. They'd be like, what's wrong with you, <laughs> dumbass? <laughs> well, I mean, that's the thing. It's like, I, maybe it's my... I always tell my parents, I'm like, you guys are ahead of the uh, trend, like, breaking generational trauma and, like, letting us do what we want. No, um, I was working... Until I was 18, my parents helped me with some classes in Oregon, but then I was working at Baskin Robbins, like... When I was 16, it was my Tight. first job. I really wanted a muscle car, and my dad was like, absolutely not. I'm not paying for you to fix up a car you can't even drive. Um, and then I used that money for acting classes and on. Did you get the muscle car eventually? Not yet, but someday. What was okay, the muscle so car? At the time, I wanted a 66 Chevelle, but now I want, I mean, everybody loves a good old 60s Ford Mustang or something like that. Yeah. 289 Fastback, 65. I, I had a neighbor whose dad had one of those that he had built up cherry red and god damn like I only got to sit in the back seat but it was still so much fun was it Mark Zuckerberg <laughs> no <laughs> god damn it no I, he, he's very like he, he has these you don't understand like rock comes in here and he's just like yeah I used to work with Bill Clinton oh or just random just, <laughs> just just some random some random fact where I'm just like dude how many careers have you lived no it's true actually I feel like every time I see you I'm like oh you actually remember all of your past lives. Like the rest of us are born <laughs> with a new, like we're out of the womb and we're like, it's a new life. And you're like, nah, I got all of them. Like, <laughs> like I feel like the current spirit that's embodied me, it's like, it's stuck in like a comfortable purgatory. Like it's just waiting for, it's like, I'll just wait till I get the call to go back to our home planet or wherever. On autopilot? Yeah, like, I, like, I, like, I, like my conscience has made the best out of the situation where I'm at, you know? Okay, yeah. Yeah, like where I'm just like, but I still sometimes feel like very like a, like, like a life of illusion sometimes like you're like am i really getting stuff down like am i gonna get to be old like it's just like you know 
I think um, I'm always in it. I'm constantly, I always joke that my head's in the clouds all the time. And I feel like it's easy for us to all say that here right now, <laughs> smoking weed, you know. <laughs> but my thought is like, well, um, I feel like it's just, there's been such a dissociation from all the things that we knew growing up that we're like, this is reality, this is comfortable, this is how, like, everybody has just grown up and learned that, like, you never know what's going to happen in the future, it's best to stay in the present, and I'm getting really <laughs> interested, <laughs> like, let's just talk about it. but, you know, it, I feel like it's turned into this thing where it's, like, people are genuinely understanding that, like, being in the present, it's not really sad or happy, it's just kind of accepting it. And like going through it all. Thanks for letting me be woo woo for a moment. I'm sorry about that. But this, this is what it's all about. Like That's here, all like I we do. Just, we just kind of like it's not. It's not. We don't necessarily have the most. Um, what you say? Like, like quote unquote, like professional structured outline for a interview. It's mostly just okay. like, hey, like you're just chilling with the homies. I love that because oh, yeah. it's well. Yeah, that's how I feel like every conversation I have is 30 tangents. And I'm like, let's get deep. I, we just met, but let's talk about it. <laughs> we, I mean, hey, it's a deep morning. Where, what I'm about. Where, 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 are you, where are your parents from? They're from India. Um, we They moved to Oregon in the 80s, or late 80s. Is it is, is there any community big in Oregon? Yeah, actually, there's a huge. Um, I had I had heard I had heard about it before, but I was just like, because you know, certain immigrants go to certain places, like yeah, yeah, like Cubans go to Florida, and just. Well, I yeah. mean, it, I think in a lot of it has to do with like work and you know, like where people and there's a lot of tech in Oregon, and um, but was, it's very white mostly. Like, well, I was gonna say it sounds it's so funny because Austin, Texas, where I'm from, is an exact parallel there's to Portland. Cities. Yeah, there's the keep Portland weird, the keep Austin mm -hmm. weird, the music, and then you know, same thing here, very whitewashed, but also at the same time. Huge now, Indian population. Were your parents like first, like are, like their second generation? Like are they like uh, were their parents here before, or are they the first ones? They, my dad, moved to America for grad school in like I think eighty six, um, and my mom, like they got married in like ninety, I don't know, somewhere somewhere in the early nineties, I don't know, uh, and came here around then. And um, I only know my dad came here in eighty six because he just got to finally meet Arnold and, and like, he got really emotional about it. He was like, "I saw Terminator 2 and you just like." I would cry if I met Terminator too. No, that was, <laughs> like, no, it's it's my favorite Arnold movie for sure. Uh, all right, so I'll tell you I'll tell you a story with Terminator two when I was a, when I was a kid. So you know how some kids like they like to watch Lion King over and over again. I went to my my dad's uh, what is it um, mom's my dad my my grandma's house from like my dad's side. And I had a cool cousin there who, like, he was, like, older than me. But, like, I would just love going in this room. I was like, oh, there's Gundam Wings. There's movies and Hell all this yeah. stuff. <laughs> and I, there's, like, uh, the, what's that rock magazine that used to have Radiohead and all this stuff? Circus? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. So I used to look through the <laughs> Circus <laughs> magazines. I used to just go, go through all that. And I remember, like, I came across the video one time. And they were watching Terminator 2. And I, like, loved this movie. And I remember, like, I went. I would go every day. I would only have to go to my grandma's house, like, twice. Like, but then I would just walk over there just to watch that movie and then like my mom realized what are you doing over there and she realized that i was watching this movie and she's like you cannot watch this <laughs> yeah like so so i would I, like i would I remember like i would i would cry until they would like let me watch it like literally like like that would been i was a little kid and i would just watch i jammed the tv up that had the built-in vcr in there and Yours i would, was a cool thing you got grounded from i got grounded from like reading harry potter because i would reread it too I, like i told you i was a nerd and like I mean, it was cute though but you're like mom me, you want to play quidditch with me no i didn't i mean she wouldn't so it was just me and my brother doing that no <laughs> <laughs> no um it's funny like i my my parents would be strict about some things when i was small like the films that i would watch and they were like disney's fine but not disney channel like None of that kiss and stuff. And I'm like, but they do it in the animated. I don't know. But <laughs> I know. I'm like, I've seen Eric and Ariel kiss a million also, times. Also, Disney Channel was the line that they drew? No, it was funny because they got, they weren't sure what to be strict about and what not to be strict about. And eventually I, I think I, like, I was like 14 or 15 and I decided to watch True Blood and I told my mom to tell with it. And she was like, she came out of the other room. She was like, motherfucker. And I realized she'd watched the episode while I was watching it to see what I was doing. And I was like, did you go? She was like, that's what you're watching in there. And I was like, what are you going to do? Like, I'd rather watch it than do it. What do you think? And she's like, yeah, fine. Okay. Like, and then they never, <laughs> no, but the one, like when I was a kid, like I would be kind of sheltered with a lot of things, um, which was fine. Like, Very did you have like a bed, like Beckham that type of dad where he was like, you're not going to play soccer. Like you're going to, no, do no, no, no. It was <laughs> just in terms of like watching media too young. But despite all that, I 
the one scene I had grown, like my dad would watch Terminator 2 over and over and over again. Like your dad. And he, like, oh, he's, my dad is such a, he's, he's such a dad and I love it. Um, but he, uh, he was so obsessed, as all dads are, I feel, with tech and like mo like the movie tech that you can have at your home. Like, oh, I just got the newest TV. Oh, oh yeah. Expensive. And every time we would upgrade the system, he would invite people over and just like replay the car chase scene over and over again. <laughs> so like I, I grew up with that scene seared in my memory. Like I didn't know when anything. The t when the when, when the the guys running at um, what's yes, the T1000? Yes, and yeah, like the, the truck is going. And yeah. The, oh, yeah. it's so good. It's so good. Anyway. I, I always like, I for for a while, I remember I, I might have exposed myself to Mercury when I was younger. Uh, because <laughs> this took a left turn. Yeah, be, because, be, because, no, because I I was so into this movie, bro. And there was an old school thermometer. And I remember like in the house, I opened it, right? Like I opened this shit and I remember like I looked at like the little liquid. I was like, that's the Terminator stuff. And I remember I swear to God, dude, this this is a real story. And I remember that that's eventually like when that like the, the thing broke. Right. And I remember I, I took it out and when it fell on the floor, it broke into a thousand little balls, dude. And my mom had to sweep this up and I got in trouble and it was, it, I'm like, I didn't know, you know, but it was like, because they're in thermometers that, that. Well, they used to use mercury a lot. I feel like we had science experiments and stuff with kids where they yeah. were like, I'll oh, be a little careful, but like, it wasn't, and people used to use it to treat people. Like, which is the craziest. It's kind of crazy how we would just casually kill each other and be like, we're helping, <laughs> let's bloodlet this guy, he's Honestly. dying. <laughs> I mean, the medicines before, they were just crazy. I'd just like straight out be like, yeah, this has two grams of cocaine, one gram of heroin, and just like, here you go. It's my for favorite. the cold. <laughs> That's my favorite remedy, personally. <laughs> like no. co cocaine and heroin for the, uh, the common cold. I actually, I read a thing about like medieval uh, uh, medical practices. Holy shit. Those oh, are, man. Like, I but you like get to be in a castle, have... though. Think about it. I mean, that, no. Not everybody, like only like a handful of people. Well, but no, every... even if you're in the castle, I mean, I love the idea of it, but they are they are horrifying and they're very cold. Have and you been people, in a castle? Yes, and like it was, and they it, they have it's it's kind of cute. Like in some places in like Europe, they'll have people that are so passionate about it that they'll hire like reenactors to like kind of be the holy <laughs> the shit. Doing. Like what Dracula in there? Just, just I, <laughs> that would be cool. No, it was like you know the little merchant man who's come to sell his little crops from the village beyond. Oh, okay. and like, and they also do this at the Roman baths as well. So they have like a little centurion that just stands. And I'm like, okay, I what, would like that job. Yeah, I feel like it's not, it sounds like you've been to a few castles. What castles have you been? <laughs> yeah, like what castles? Where did this happen? The one that I that I'm thinking of right now that was in england and it's um oh my god it starts with a w and i'm blanking right now buckingham palace <laughs> I, th I think i sent you a video of this guy going the queen lives here freddie mercury yeah 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 favorite homosexual, <laughs> my favorite homosexual. <laughs> like very, very good homosexual my favorite <laughs> queen member is, lives here <laughs> no. um there's this castle that starts with w uh i forgot the name of it but um is it called windsor no, 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 no. It's um, outside of London. It's uh, on the way in, and it's like the Earl of... Wingardium Leviosa. Leviosa. When I make my move... No. <laughs> but they... I went down to the dungeon by myself. Um, also, this castle was cool, but it was freaky because they would have random wax figures like Madame Tussaud in random places. You'd what walk in and fuck? be like, ah! Um, I went down to the dungeon. Um, it was like brick castle and everything. Too. Brick. It was. It's from I think eleven hundred or twelve hundred. Oh damn! It's old. It was so beautiful. The view is stunning. And I was like, yeah, I could live here. And then I walked down to the dungeon because you can only go down. It's such a narrow walkway. Only one person can really fit. And and um, I think also it's not to like. I, I don't think anything about it. it was just or like glorious and I don't really enjoy the idea of medieval torture or anything but I also feel like if you're visiting a castle you need to see all of it including like the parts that weren't so cool yeah, um, yeah I, I did want to see a crypt instead what happened is I'm halfway down like what feels like a thousand steps and all the lights go out and I'm like okay it's very cold and then the emergency lights come on and the and I'm like standing there for a little while I'm stuck there and the lights come back all the way on and there's a tour guide on top going I'm gonna meet you, like, I'm coming down there, like, to to show you around, so just let me, uh, like, you keep going. And I was like, is it safe? I don't know. It's dark? Well, at this point, the lights came back on, but again, as soon as I get down, the lights go out, and I was like, I fucking knew it, I shouldn't have done it, I shouldn't have gone. <laughs> um, you could still see, though, because they had the little emergency row lights, and when I tell you, they had the most inhumane, and it was so dark, and there were, like, little, 
like like they were all like they were in the wall like claw marks and people trying to get out and there oh. was this um grate in the floor Damn. that they would put like special you know victims in where they would have to kind of like crouch but they couldn't you couldn't crouch all the way because it was narrow and you couldn't stand straight you're you would constantly be stuck like this mm. and crouched and for days days on end and i was like i truly i can never see it and also like that's not why I would. That's not why I wouldn't want to live in the castle. It's also because you know people would just literally um, <laughs> eliminate everywhere. They would just walk and d- yeah, like take a shit. Yeah, they would do their business, especially noblemen and noble women. And also, they would just throw chamber pots out. I watch a lot of history docs, so it's like they would just do. It's just nasty. I didn't. I didn't know you could. I mean, when you have a property that big, though, you could just have like a shit room. <laughs> you would think, but like, even if they were like, "Here's my chamber pot, clean it out, peasant," like they would still literally just shit on the floor, and like the French would do it a lot. And I was like, "Like just straight shitting <laughs> on the floor." Damn, we've come a long way. And like, I don't care how much you clean that. So homeless used to live in the castle, from what you're saying. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, have you ever lived? To the have you really lived if you haven't just shit on the floor at some point <laughs> in your life? I don't. Care. You might have been two. <laughs> you might have been. <laughs> might have been. There is some liberty to like pissing outdoors, though. Like you, you feel pretty. I mean, but you also feel vulnerable. Like you know, if I'm in the forest, and like I'm like, what if a bird attacks me? I don't know. I'm always keeping my dukes up when I'm taking a whiz in the in the woods. I'm ready. It's a little different for ladies, but you know. Yeah. Chicks are like though, but like. <laughs> but you, it can be. You guys could just too. go though. Like, like I've seen so many times on like, especially like if it's like a, a desert or something like that, like or or anywhere you're driving for a long time, you'll see like a door pulled over, and then you see a chick. If a chick is just crouching, against, if yeah. it's crouching, she's pissing, bro. Like I chick- learned that trick actually from one of my friends in, in the show that um that I brought my cards for. Uh, we went on a road trip once, and I was like, I have to go. There's no bathroom. She's like, Have you never done the door trick? And I was like, Oh, word, that's what's going. On. <laughs> I've seen it, but I didn't know what I was looking at. I used at. to literally just find like a hill or a bush to hide behind. And so I was like, there's nothing but open field and like <laughs> what do I do? Yeah. yeah, it's 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 quite it's quite um quite the experience to, to you know, go out there outdoors. You feel super wildlife, you know? You know what's really, really challenging <laughs> is peeing in a bottle in traffic while driving standard. Yep. I've had to do that one before. That was rough. I Cannot say that I've tried because it would not work. I don't yeah, guys have a hose. Try it's it. different. Like they do have like a female cup that makes a hose. I did but. see yeah, that on Timu. Yeah. Held it. On Timu? Yeah. Like, don't buy that off of Timu. <laughs> I keep getting asked <laughs> just a for Me too. I'm so excited when I'm like, oh, this is just what I... Oh. But then, Fucking okay. Timu. I, I, they, oh God, Timu. I, I haven't bought anything yet from Timu, but like I see it and I was like... So they, they have the thing I was thinking about. And then I'm like debating on it, but then I'm just like... This is gonna be very disappointing. Like when I buy clothes from like, yeah, like China or something, or yeah. like or like Japan, I'm like, wow, this well, is a cool I also shirt. Heard they don't quote me on this. I have Quoting. heard okay or quote. I mean, I've literally been quoted. Right now. Um, allegedly, some people have had like been charged for a bunch of things that they didn't purchase and like dealt and like oh you know, after shopping of, on there it's yeah. just a lot of scammy scammy stuff that you know i think when it's not really the most did timu eat wish because i haven't heard of wish doing anything in a minute <laughs> i think it did it's like i think it may have are we gonna are, see timu on the nba jerseys now com- 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 yeah. company company <laughs> companies are eating each other up dude <laughs> yeah dude you know, yeah you know you know what two companies ate each other up this week Knott's Berry Farm fucking bought out, uh, or they they joined forces with uh, Six Flags. Get the fuck out! Yeah, dude. Holy shit, yeah. that's huge. That is that's very huge. I mean, to be honest, there- Six Flags wasn't really doing shit, you know. I mean, like they just have the good IP there, like so now, like they can have somebody like Knott's, and now they can have the Peanuts hanging out with uh, Looney Tunes, you know. That's about it's about time Snoopy and Daffy Duck kick it. Yeah. I just that's just like what I get excited for, like the merch. Cause you know, like I'm like 33. Okay. I'm like my back hurts after some of these rides. <laughs> <laughs> no more Joker roller coaster for me. <laughs> Yo, I'm not gonna get on the Riddler shit. That shit feels like my knees are gonna fucking snap and out. Oh my god, no! I, I I think like the last time I went to Disneyland, I like people always get excited about I the Matterhorn. I love Disneyland. I we need to do a since, group outing again. I haven't been to Disneyland since. The pandemic, actually, because I, I had like a pass Same. and everything. Oh, my and God, like, you're overdue. Just, oh, I know, but life, you know, crazy. No, 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 there's, um, there's no life for Disneyland. You, you got to go. No, I just I haven't had a chance. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready. I want to go. Um, But I do remember like Matterhorn is such a cool ride, but that hurts my like, I think I was like 22 
like the first time I went on it as an adult and I was like, wow, I feel like a 90 year old. And now I like, I can't even, I, I'm afraid to get on that ride, but it looks great. I love it, man. I can't. They I'll just, be, they just be. recently re I think it's going refurbishments right now, but the, even before yeah, that we'll they do had it. done a few, they had done a few things. It's not too bad. I, I think what does fuck, what does fuck it up the most when you do that is the way you have to like sit down at that angle. It's like when you go in like that rocket ride that goes all around that you have right to go down. It's such an uncomfortable like oh. laying down thing, and then you're like the other person's in front of you, and you're just like, dude, we're both way too big for this. Like, unless <laughs> it's like a little medieval yeah. torture grate. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it feels Wait, like, like that. Like, no, I'm like, hey, man. You're sitting in a weird position, and then like the reason I would have problems on Matterhorn, you'd be sitting in that position, and it's going. Like you're constantly just getting thrashed around and you can't move and like your body. Uh, Space Mountain is awesome though. So I did I did enjoy Space Mountain the one time I did that, but I don't fuck with roller coasters. I'm not good at them. It's really slow compared to it's not actually fast and because it's like Space fans. Mountain. It, it's made to feel that way because it's like fans and stuff, but. Um, it's uh, apparently very yeah like have you ever seen it with the lights on like I've, it's like we the one in Japan yeah. the one in <laughs> Japan like, was way fucking faster bro like the one in Japan was super fast that I was like man the Japanese they, they when know when did you go to the one in Japan that's so cool uh, like January was it this year yeah like, it was uh, this year. like February and like uh, in March I've been dying to go to Japan oh I'm going back uh, what is it uh, next February like late February I, I, it's like I went to that country and I was like I kind of want to live here like I literally I hear would. that from quite a few. It's just like the, a lot of people say it's like the quality of life and like the energy. I just like it, I mean it, it's it, I mean I don't know Japanese like people out there are kind of, they're cool and they're very nice until like they're like hey you live here and like we have to be friends. I heard the relationship kind of changes. You know what I mean? Like I heard it does. Bro, I've, I've been researching this shit like a motherfucker. <laughs> what was it on Reddit at like two a.m. <laughs> yeah, like like or like somebody <laughs> on YouTube would be like I've been living in Japan for a while and then I'm just like that like it's like you don't get they don't give you your props unless you're coming into them like fluently like Japanese like. You know what I mean? So that yeah. I, it's it's but weird. I feel like when you're like when you're surrounded by that, you set, you pick up a lot of things. Not oh just yeah, the language, but also just the culture of it. I had a friend who went earlier this year and was saying like, even just going to hang out with people at a dive bar, you walk out with like close friends all of a sudden that truly like people are so authentic and the culture is like really lovely that way. Yeah, you feel safe too. Like out there, you actually see women doing stuff without like them like worried about getting like raped or like attacked and shit you know like see i'm like it That's sounds it sounds nice. messed yeah. up and stuff no, like i mean but like yo you see women out there like doing women ish like they can have friends and go out and eat fucking cupcakes and do whatever the fuck japanese women do like because like, i saw it i saw it every day in the hotel and i was like look at all these four chicks just fucking having cupcakes and like ah, that sounds like, my dream, not like and you know and 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 or like uh or or they're just like they're just out wearing like the dopest fashion and i'm like and it's not even like no crazy like you know it's not it's not like you know ass and titties hanging out but it's just like it's just like yo bro like they're just so free and i'm just like that's like i'm like yo i was like no wonder you're so like w like you're so in touch with your femininity like the women are so in touch with their femininity out there because it's, it's so comforting bro do you think you'd get in touch with your femininity out there i don't yeah i think i think so like i'd be i, I mean i'm already all about like you know certain things like i take care of my skin and you know I like Hell yeah like you know i like i cut my nails and stuff like that but I think everybody should cut their nails. If I'm dapping dude, you up some and your dudes, shit's gripping into my fucking fingers, go to a fucking se go to a sesh and just I dap, dap, with that, I no, dap yeah. people out of sessions because I don't like to handshake because I'm like, yo, bro, like there's cocaine still under there, bro. Like, <laughs> goddamn Wolverine, no, I let go. So, I get so grossed out by like if if I'm doing an art project and my nails get a little bit, I'm like, oh no no no. Like I think nails are the one thing because. Yeah, you can, I, and it's notice. I feel like most people that I interact with are very good about it. That's why it's when people have really gross nails, it stands out. Yeah, it's you know? it's or honestly. Like, Go wash your hands, please. I like, immediately judge. On yeah, that me too. A little As bit. You should. It's, Straight up. It's funny because in Texas, a big <laughs> thing with like dapping people up is that you know they'll lock hands. And it's kind of like an extended hold. Like a super manly shake, huh? Definitely, yeah. because you'll be like, you'll slap with somebody, they'll be like, partner, how you been? What have you been up to? And they're holding your hand the whole time. So if you got these fucking grimy ass talents. Bill used to grab your hand like that. <laughs> like, because, I mean, you know, like, he's, he's like, you know, like, and always with the boots and shit, he yeah. grab your hand tight. But man, I, I don't remember what Bill's nails are like. So, you know, you get off this time, Bill. But. Damn. They were working shit. nails. I'll tell you that. Much. They were working nails. That means they should be trimmed. You're going to bend the motherfuckers back. That's like, the thing. It's like, if you're mid project, okay, like I'll give you get a pass, but it's like, if it's been, even if, even once you've walked, come on, do something about it. It's do like, about it's it. for, it's yeah, for me, as soon as I get that little white bit, you know, of nail, I'm like, I got to get rid of that. Well, Halloween. 
I went nuts. It was fun. Um, we went to a Halloween party, and uh, Rock was dressed up as, what do we, we called you Ghost Pussy. Yeah. <laughs> or something. I was, uh, or it was, it was uh, Ghost Pussy Killer. <laughs> because uh, it's Ghost Face Killer, but I was um, a slutty, slutty version. version. The thought, like thought face. Yeah, thought, yeah. So I had like, <laughs> I had uh, fishnets, boot, combat boots, and I had like fake nails and shit and a bedazzled and steak knife. And at first knife. he was about it because it was like, because I looked with great. Like, oh, I see. And that's the thing. It's that's cool why, when it like, works for you. The, it, <laughs> it actually was, it was a look. It was fun. It's funny because, like, you know, a lot of us growing up doing dance and everything, I'd always be told, you know, beauty is pain or beauty, like, sit here for three <laughs> hours and do this and, like, get, like, crying while you're putting a headpiece on. You're like, I don't want to do this. Um, gluing your eyelashes shut. It's fun. Um, and so I'm like, I think most girls are, like, or those of us that do nails are usually, like, you know, there's an adjustment period and then we're like, we'll deal or we just never, it's one or the other. Um, and it's, you had that and it was so fun watching you go through that full experience on one night. You were like, Oh my God, my hands look so good smoking. And then you're like, Ooh, I can't, I can't open anything. I can't do anything. I would go to pick up these boxes, like <laughs> the white claws and shit. My nails had been back. I, I rolled the, the, I rolled, I rolled the joint too, with, like, with uh, claws like that too. Like what's that pic? Oh, I don't have the picture. Oh, is it's it when you devil. were Lucifer? Yeah. Yeah. So like, I remember like when, when yeah that that the thing I had like all green nails and just like so you had long nails yeah too? like long nails but then I was like I wonder who like if I can just like roll and I did I was able to do it I was like man I'd be that'd be a down ass trick I will say <laughs> <laughs> like you know that's I a mean, skill you, right you there you know like listen it is a skill it's so hard it took me a while. I will say there's a difference between having to I usually keep my nails short because I don't have the time but like when I have the time I'm like yeah I'll I'll, I'll be a little old lady for a week uh, two weeks and I will say when I have gotten the kinds where you just stick the glue on and like do the thing. It Atrocious. feels so flimsy. It's so hard to pick things up. But then like the glue. So that's why there are some girls who are able to do whatever while having the talents because they have like the salon grade glue. That I was about to weeks. say the, I the just equivalent. Get nicer nails. You yeah, know, you know, nicer glue. you know, what's the equivalent of that, bro? It's like, you know, uh, you know, the claw machine. That's <laughs> that's what that is. Like when chicks put on those nails, because like, you claw, get though. it. But like. <laughs> It might just fall off. Like, I have never once, I have never once been successful with a claw machine in my life. Never? Oh, shit. I've had like seven wins total in my life. Yeah, I can count my wins yeah. with the claw machine, but like, I, like, I don't know. Like, it's, I think it's been like five. Yeah. I've I, had zero. I mean, most of my claw machine experiences were at the Winco that I went to growing up, but I don't know what that says. I don't know if there's a conspiracy. Winco, let us know. But you know, <laughs> damn, we need to find one the, and get you to win. Please. Yeah. What's Winco? Like win oh, it's like a it's like a grocery outlet, like okay. a little grocery store. I don't know, like a a little bargain. I just heard that in the way that the commercial says it: grocery outlet. Bargain. Yeah. Outlet. yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a Pavlovian yeah. dog response. Someone makes a noise that's related to a jingle, and you just have to. Yeah. Anytime I see carpet, <laughs> I just think about that empire guy. Honestly, <laughs> yeah. like anytime I really see yeah. some carpet, I'm just like Empire today. <laughs> I always uh, the O'Reilly's theme song, I think, sits at number one in my head. And then uh, local to Texas is this pizza spot called Mr. Gaddy's. And I'll never forget their fucking phone number. Area code 512. But then the, the jingles just dial four, five, nine, twenty two, twenty two. Like, I'll never fucking forget. <laughs> I ain't been in Texas like that for like almost 10 years now. That number is probably still in service. A hundred percent. There was an ad that I thought was exclusive to where I grew up in Portland and, and like the Beaverton area and Tiger Beaverton. <laughs> um, but there was this one commercial that I thought was like exclusive to us. And then I found out people from the Bay Area get the same commercial. Like, I guess it's like this. It's this jeweler, the Shane Company. Um, the Shane I, Company? Yeah, the Shane Company. It's this like white, old white dude who's like, I'm assuming he might not be, but I'm guessing he's definitely white. Um, he's like, in Washington and Oregon, the Shane Oregon. Company, company. And like, and honestly, like the way we'd constantly hear this guy just talk at us for the entire commercial. Are you selling jewelry? He what? Was he selling like jewelry? diamonds? I'm sure. Yeah, but then, diamonds, like, I yeah. grew up like hearing. Then like I had all these friends from California that were like, "Oh, you have the chain company. We have the chain company." And I was like, "That's not possible." He said it's in Washington and Oregon. Washington. Washington. <laughs> Washington. Or nor. Or nor. I can't. Um. Yeah, but that is a. <laughs> there, there's certain commercials like "Go See Cal." That was a like California staple. I don't know that one. Don't you know. don't know. You don't know like uh, what, what was his name? Ga what is it? Um, the guy who the guy who sold Fords. J.G. Wentworth. 
No, it was uh, Go See Cow. He used to have a... Uh, go See Cow, Go See Cow. He used to have, cow. like, tigers and elephants. Like I'm, What? Like, he used to do oh, the yeah, craziest things yo, for, to sell cars, bro. And this motherfucker car right was now. the man. I'll have to uh, see it to know. Oh, my God. Let me pull up a commercial. What? This just... Do you, guys, do you guys remember that video? It was, like, a commercial video. It seemed like a car commercial at first. It starts on a hill. And like this, it seems really peaceful. It's like, da, 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 da. and then this like zombie like pops up on the screen. Do you remember that video? No. What the <gasps> fuck is this? You definitely, you definitely seen it. It like someone just, like it, it, the, like I think I saw it on my Instagram feed recently, and it was like every person's comment was like, "Wow, unlocked a core memory from." Yeah, so, dude. This. So so go see cow. Jumped out of an airplane for a, this commercial, dude. <laughs> It was this old white guy. And this is real footage. And he jumped into his car dealership. And there was a tiger there. I've never seen this in my life. <gasps> this is a legit guy. It was a big deal when he died, too. Did he die doing one of his commercials? No, but he was outrageous with it, bro. And this old man, he's like hey, on top of an airplane. Tom like he's, he, he's like he's petting the orca. <laughs> dude, this is nuts. And he's like petting. He gets on the orca, dude. He, he's, he's, riding. Riding. he's riding the orca, dude. What is? What the fuck? Go see Cal was the man. Oh my god! Wow, there's so much. I, I'm. Like he has an octopus in his hand. He has a skunk, dude. This guy was. He did. He got you finance for ninety nine dollars or less. I Yo. am truly in awe of this man. I'm really sad. I've never got. There should be a movie Cal. about that guy. I had never gotten that, there. I literally was like, why are we talking today about Tom Cruise and Tiger King? Well, we haven't talked about Tiger King in a while, but you know what I mean? Like, this guy's yeah. jumping off. It's a, it's time to make the Go See Cal movie. Who's starting in the biopic? Yeah. Diversity yeah. man. Like, no, we can't, we can't <laughs> a real person. Like, I feel like Tommy Lee Jones could play him. Like, in his, <laughs> in his like, in his, oh, like, in his later life. Like, yeah, like, when before, before Cal died. Because he died, he, he lived a pretty good life. Like, he was like... He was doing it. I remember when he died, it hit the news. I was like, the pussy cow guy's gone? Because everybody used to think it said pussy cow and not go see cow. <laughs> pussy cow. Yeah, everybody thought that's what Wait, it said. How, how old were you when... I was like, <laughs> when I heard the commercial, I was like six or like seven. So I remember going to like uh, like elementary and be like, oh, you're that pussy cow guy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of little kids, just pussy cow, pussy cow, pussy cow. That's Giving, really what the um, joke was. Shrek, like, do luck is, do luck is. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm throwing in like the most random references that. It, <laughs> it's, it it's okay, we live our lives like we Family just, Guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Also, like, Shrek references are truly, I think, the backbone of society. So. Yeah. Honestly, I would. I mean, so... I don't know. When did you draw the line for the Shreks? Like, I think I stopped at two. I liked two, and then that was it. Yeah, like when they had kids, I was like, all right, man, this is too much. I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna see the I'm gonna see the new one, but yeah. There's a new one. There's gonna be a new one, yeah. Come on, man. Nah, did you guys see the last? Is Puss the in midget Boots? dead? No, the... I haven't seen it. I heard it was good. The last Puss in Boots was really fucking good. I, saw I actually it. heard that. I, I loved it. Yeah, I'm I watched it with my cat. I should watch it. <laughs> yeah. I know. Too. I need to watch it with my. I made him watch me play Stray, so like you know. <laughs> no, I need to play Stray. I haven't still. played Stray. They're making a, the guy who made Ice Age is making a movie adaptation of Stray. Get the fuck out! Damn. It's, you guys gotta. Play. It's so okay. good. It's, so, and go it's not that and, long of a game either. Uh, it's only like twenty bucks on the network right now on PSN, so I'm gonna go get that today, I guess. It's so good. Is Puss in Boots is still uh, Antonio Banderas, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that movie was really good, that third one. So, But they, uh, at the very end, spoilers um, for everybody that's worried about Shrek spoilers. Uh, <laughs> they alluded to the fact that they were going back to uh, Far, Far Away. Is that Lit. Midget King still alive? <laughs> no, Forquad? No, yeah. they killed him. All that was like, and what? No, he never came back. I feel like he just, I don't know. I haven't seen it after two, so I'm like, I John feel like Lithgow he wasn't back. in the second one. I was thinking about being Farquad for Halloween because <laughs> my, hair, when I, my hair was like not cooperating and it was going. To fuck <laughs> no. But then I was like, do I want to like, you know, crouch and like go like this all day? Demi, Demi, that's been on the show before. You've met Demi, right? Yeah, I went on yeah, her yeah. show. Yeah. Uh, oh, you went on her show too? Yeah. Oh, shit. All She's three so of us cool. have. Okay. Uh, Demi um, had a uh, always does a themed birthday party and she did a Mike Myers one. So I dressed in my Shrek costume and just like my, my Shrek jacket and I wore a donkey mask. She was Shrek and Natasha was uh, Dragon. 
It was fucking tight. And then everybody else was like Austin Powers and stuff like sure, that. But, yeah, but y'all committed. Oh, dude, Shrek all day. I think she's like the right person to do that kind of stuff. She's always doing friend shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> like no like for real like every time i see her I'm fucking insane, story like, she's like it. here with my friend number one and three o'clock another friend date here i'm like man i wish i had time to do these friend dates like that was um, <laughs> that was me like i feel like before the pandemic and now it's like that's why i do projects with friends because i feel like otherwise i'm i'm not gonna be able to see people projects or like what sleep, you, like or like like, like puzzles and shit or <laughs> like, like yeah puzzles or like we'll do a diy thing or like you know maybe someone's birthday like it's nice that you we'll just call people. your friends to move and shit like when you're moving like i mean <laughs> like, this I is a bonding experience <laughs> well we'll do we like diying a lot of my friends and i am like but we're all usually like doing some i mean we'll have to like plan to do an activity because most of us i think since since the pandemic have been like yeah we veg most of the time and then it's like you know, you have to schedule. I'm just talking about making plans. Like that's a normal. Like I don't know what. I'm no, it's no, no, no. We, I, we, we, I go. I deal with the same thing. Like I literally tell people, I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna be at these events. I know you guys think I'm gonna be here, but this is where I'm gonna be at. And I'm, 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 I'm making an open invite. If you guys ever want to hang out. I'll be at Knott's Berry Farm off of like a thousand milligram edibles. Knott's Berry Six Flags. Yeah, or like what? Yeah, <laughs> or like what? Like which is something that I'll do, or like I'll tell like my friends, I'm like, hey, like I'll, I'll tell everybody, be like, hey, I'm gonna go. Do you want to go? You know what I mean? Because and, I, and I'm I think like, it's, that's just like more realistic now. Because I think what I'm trying to say is like it used to be easier to go zoom, 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 and like hang out with all your friends all the time, and like all the, like just make plans with that. But I feel like life is so busy now, and your energy is all over the place. It's kind of like okay, let's see when our when our plans and lives kind of overlap, and let's make it happen. Otherwise, like let's you know we'll hang out when we hang out. Like, that's it's fine. Kind of <laughs> yeah. That's that's definitely the vibe. I feel bad. Like I haven't seen Raul and Aaron. Oh, me neither. Well, what about the voice actor? What? You talk about the voice guy? I no, yeah. Hans Zimmer guy. No, talk about he Raul. He's the voice guy. He did. Oh, 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 yeah, he does yeah. do the voice acting the Hans stuff. Hans Zimmer right. guy. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah for, for people watching the show, he came on here and talked a lot about uh, his he work with awesome. Hans, but yeah. He's amazing. Yeah, I haven't seen, I, there was a point where, because I did Swiss and Lolly with him and, and yeah. did our music for it, um, where like I was seeing him every week and then like he was living up the street from me for the longest time and then I just haven't seen him in months because I've been like, Working in, in a hole, like, yeah. Playing Baldur's Gate. <laughs> are, you, are you playing that right now? Uh, well, I was until this week. We're we're going into Tech Week for my show, and then yeah. Going. What's Tech Week? Tech Week oh. is um just Tech Week for our for nothing. Oh, special. Tech Week. Right. Yeah, where we're doing. When I say Tech Week, it's really Tech Day and a day of load in because it's a full art installation as well as a show. So now you said like, you have you have a show coming up, like because I asked you, I was like, are you in a rock band? I was like, what is, what is it exactly? Because I mean, you're an actor, obviously, right? Yeah, okay. I'm an actress, so um, it's called Nothing Sorry, Special. Sorry, actress. Yeah, actor, actor. I, 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 I was I about to actor say, is the official word for it now. Actress just, is the official actor. Actor. Okay, that's what I, I was just thinking. am so used to female actors. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't care. That's a female. I'm just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a girl. I'm just a guy. I'm just here. You know. <laughs> No, um, I this this is a show I'm doing called Nothing Special. Um, it's a really cool. It's actually a really really cool experience that we're setting up because it's a play sort of, but it's also you're walking into a full art installation that's super interactive. It's an immersive, like recreation of Andy Warhol's Silver Factory in 1965. So you walk through the doors and you're suddenly in another time period. Like there's no it's like we Studio have, 64. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's it's almost like Studio 50, 54, but it's yeah, like 54. um, but it's like a decade before that. So it's like this is his art studio where they would have these crazy parties and like do these like really weird underground films. And the Velvet Underground was kind of born there. And oh, um, Ray wants to for sure go there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like come. I was like, like well, he's the only band. guy I've ever seen with a Velvet Underground shirt. You should come. We have honestly, it's such a cool time. Rock is um, also helping it out. Was... We've got Higher Path and Heavy Hitters helping us out for one night. So. Yeah, I saw Shout you out to Heavy that. Hitters. Yeah, I saw that. You yeah. sipping the juice. I gave, I gave like that. I, I gave, I let everybody drink that thousand milligram bottle. It's uh, so good. I have I have some at home. If you I have a try. very high it's tolerance. Really That's why, like, I'll literally go do like a thousand milligrams, and then like, I'll I'll go to like Disneyland and film it. Well, it's funny because part of the reason why like I, I hollered at heavy hitters to help out with y'all show is because uh, for Christmas last year, yeah, they gave all of us one of those bottles, right? And I brought it on here because I was like, thousand milligrams is a lot to put down alone. We all drank it. Easily one of the best highs. I don't know about you guys, but one of the best highs I've ever had was off of that drink. And uh, I yeah. went and I told Dan from Heavy Hitters about it. I was like, yo, thanks again, man. We had a good time with this juice. Oh, I'll get you something next week. And then literally the next week, he gives me eight of those bottles. Damn. 
generous yeah Very so cool. so that's why i really I'm wanted so to get them excited. involved yeah we wanted to do because um especially it's such a big part of like i feel like so many of our circles and like la and like just the arts world so one of our nights i'm all over the place with explaining this but um it's four nights uh only it's next week or this week today's saturday it's wednesday the 8th through saturday the 11th all right there we okay. go um each night has its own theme uh, Andy used to throw these crazy parties um, that were called happenings, and um, they would be multimedia. Like, ex- like people would get to party, listen to music, dance. And like, I would imagine this filmed. is. It sounds like the kind of the kind of parties that went on. And like, are you familiar with Hertz Castle? Yeah. Yeah, like you know, I've, I took in the tour there, and like when they talk about like how certain actresses and actors used to just like stay there, and like the stuff that used to go on, I'm like. To, it's to be like a, just a little fucking uh, squirrel in that fucking place just to watch this shit go down. I'm saying, yeah. And that's the thing. It's like and it's also you're a part of it because um, like each night has its own theme. And Andy used to do these shows called The Exploding Plastic Inevitable, where which it's funny because it kind of doesn't mean anything. But that's the point. It's like he would have the Velvet Underground playing. Right. And like the audience would be involved in doing art projects with them. And then he'd be like filming them, but then projecting the film on top of them. It's just like weird experimental stuff. We have our second night, which I feel like you guys would be very interested in, is our smoke show. And that's our 420 night um, with higher pathogens. It's probably going to look like this. Probably oh, yeah, hurt. definitely. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, um, no, they probably have ventilation. <laughs> like, we just... <laughs> <laughs> it's going to look like it's the walls are covered in foil. There's um, the three of us are playing, the three of us being um, Kristen, Melanie, and myself are playing Edie Sedgwick, who is... Uh, Andy Warhol's most famous superstar um, famously died of a barbiturate overdose when she was 28. Um, and uh, so there is a, a little play component and you're watching her film this show called Nothing Special, which was Andy Warhol's dream, but he, that he never actually fulfilled. He always wanted to go into Hollywood and never actually succeeded at it. How, so yeah. How can people go to this show? Like, is it open to the public or is it like... It's, well, we're sold out of two okay. nights. We're almost sold out of the... The third night and smoke shows almost sold out as well. So you would get your tickets at nothingspecialshow.com. Scan this QR code if you want to show me on this. The link fast. is actually in the description, oh, there people. We go. So there you go. Thank you, Ray. Yeah, definitely. Don't... And um <laughs> oh no, just joking. But yeah, there are tickets still left and we have a lot of really cool vendors that we're working with. We've got like tons of really cool surprises. We've got some pretty high profile people coming as well that some who knew Andy as well, which is really cool. And well, well, can you say who that is or no? I can't yet because okay. um, reasons. <laughs> I, I mean, oh no, no. I mean, honestly, all that stuff is sensitive. So that makes <clears throat> yeah, sense. Yeah, but you will, if you go there, you'll see. And we've, I'm and, gonna. Yeah, well, yeah, Rock's <laughs> gonna be there. But like, we also have, you get to go in and get your own screen test. I'm done. going rock because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and watch you take a picture of Terminator if he shows up. I swear to God, bro. Like I, I'm not. Letting, I swear to God, bro. Like if I would cry, that's the one place. I would be so. That's the one time where I'd be like, Rock, don't show up this week. Dude. Now I know why you cry. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, he's like, why do you cry? Why, oh, do, no. why do you cry? I've always like. I remember I picked up three of my nephews like the way he picked up that baby in Terminator Two. <laughs> <laughs> I picked up, and I remember one time like one of the little fucking. Bad, like, poof, and I was like, "Oh shit, the baby!" <laughs> yeah, like, like, oh, I'm trying to be the Terminator, and I might. It was, but it was child. over the couch, though. though. Like, like okay, I was, okay, yeah. but I remember, like, my mom, like, "Why are you doing that?" Like, and I was just like, "Relax, it's overalls," like you know. But, <laughs> but it, <laughs> relax. <laughs> I'm done. It's fun picking up a baby like that, dude. Baby, no. <laughs> relax, it's overalls, <laughs> dude. I mean, you're you're, you're Jack for it, so like, you, you for sure, you, you can pick up a baby like that. Do it. Do it next time. Next time you go to Tasha's family's house or something like that, and they have a baby crawling on the floor, just pick it up. Dude. I just want to like Michael uh, Michael Jordan palm a baby's head like he does the best. Too soft, dude. To do that like 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 uh like the can I get the, like can I get two mini babies? me midget? <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Vern Troy. Vern. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, Shaq okay. picked up Vern like that by his head. Yeah. <laughs> There's an infamous Yo. picture of him like that, picking him up like Holy that. Holy shit. How, Actually, I think I've seen that. How amazing and degrading all at the same time. That's what we should put in the background of there. We should get like a cutout of, Ver, of, of Shaq holding Vern Troy. Please, can you make a note of that, Ray? We we fucking need. I will. The guy who sends us the offensive flags. To the, <laughs> what is it? Buy us a cutout, please. Please, please. Oh my God. I want a copy of that just for my house. Yeah, Vern. I mean that's got to be a small ass little cutout. 
<laughs> the, 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 the cardboard cutout just sitting in your house. I only want it if he's dressed like Minnie Me, though. Oh my God! There's the picture. What the fuck? Holy shit! <laughs> you didn't see this picture? I've never seen this picture. I'm loving your reaction. Oh my god! I mean, I love the picture, <laughs> but your reaction to it, I love even more. Holy shit! Like, yeah, Shaq's face is the face I'd be making right now. I'd be laughing my ass off. Oh my god! And is, he's just yo. Is, is midget tossing a thing? It still is, yeah. Okay, so is that like bowling, but just with midgets? I don't remember. I don't think they have like bowling pins that they toss them into every time. I think it's more so uh, like distance. We got to do that. I it think took, you guys lost me. For, I was like, what? Because we are we, we <laughs> are missing. So are missing. I, well, this is my. I'm not gonna speak for everybody. The else, way but, I want a raccoon, he but, wants a little person. Okay, so not as a pet. I want him to, as like the missing link to the third to the podcast. Like it was yeah. at one point. It was as a pet. <laughs> That's why, but it trickled down. <laughs> It was more like a roommate. <laughs> That's how I would see a raccoon as a roommate. But like, yeah, but there's there's requirements though. Like he has like he can't be like fucking barely a midget. Like what? Like like he he can't be like he, like means, he can't be like an inch or two like right before considered a normal like height person. Like you know what I mean? Like he has to be just like a little like a foot or two like smaller. That way he's like. You know, like it's a, I'm his own loves Pokemon. All right, let's just cut the shit. What's your preferable height? <laughs> Pro probably like not as small as Vern Troy, but just a little bit bigger. Cause like that, cause Vern Troy had problems like walking, bro. He was like, cause they walk I think, like I think they all do. No, nah, not all of them, dude. Remember when we interviewed that other that the aggressive one? He he was, but he was barely one. You know what I mean? Like I don't, he was he's barely, talking, he was barely he, one. I like what? When you're talking about these people as like pets. You're like, <laughs> I, 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 they they, they thought it was like a like a pet. I just saying like I'm like look man if, <laughs> if 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 a if a if a midget needed like stardom to be in a podcast <laughs> and he wanted to try out to be like you know how like remember when Kenny died and then they put tweak as like the new friend for South Park they had a replacement. Had a replacement. Yeah, we can like do midget auditions. Midget and then we can try like. I believe that. We could do America's next person. fucking podcast, Major. What's that? I, like, America's I, I, most I, little. I don't know. Yeah. America, I th yeah, I was going to say, I feel like you'd have a lot more success if you just like looked up like little person like casting. There's so many shows. They come like, with handlers reality. and shit. Like I want somebody who speaks for themselves. A handler. Yeah, the they handler? do. I, I, don't, I don't say that like an animal or anything. I'm you saying that. Like like, yeah, that's what you call them. Yeah. <laughs> It's true. You like, call it a handler, though. No, but like when you go to when you go to voice actors or talents, bro, and like and like they're signing autographs, their person is with them. That's their handler. Their publicist. But like a lot of them will be like, yeah, that's their handler. Like just, from what I've heard. Okay, now I'm gonna get business cards that say professional handler. I'm gonna give that to my publicist. Somebody yeah. said, now on, you're my handler. Like, <laughs> they gotta take you everywhere in a crate. Yeah, I actually would love that. I don't want to have to walk. I'm so tired. <laughs> No, actually, I love I love walking. I hate driving. <laughs> da, talento chiquito, bro. We could just call it like that, or just searching. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm so serious. Like my mom watches this reality show that's like Little Women New York. Like there are Ugh. so there are so many people oh, yeah. who would be down to get on your podcast. I'm so serious. I'm like business. Yeah. I'm like there are people who would get on your podcast. Like, Aparna is about to just start putting the call out for us. Oh please, like if you know like a midget that's cool with smoking. I just like or... connecting people. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it would, it would just it, it would it would automatically turn this podcast into be the bam like dude God. there'd be so much fun things we could do i then, feel like there'd definitely be people who are who'd be down i feel like if you do successfully lock in a little person you should pick your rap career back up and become the next kid rock that would be pretty cool but I do it. I do it through the Spanish market, like you know. Hell yeah! No, like, Rock like, already. The Spanish market would not be ready for that, bro. They'd I be mean, like, "What the fuck?" It's he's singing corridos with the midget, <laughs> the chiquito. Yeah, the chiquito. bro. <laughs> oh my god! Wait, what, what do you? How do you say? Like, Little person in handler. Spanish. Oh, yeah. handler. No, that with hand. Yeah. Oh, I don't. I don't know those the Spanish word for handler. I don't. I don't know if I could just try, like. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I think there's like an actual word. Like, socio. It would be like yeah, socio. Yeah, my associate. Let me socio. My associate. That sounds more like a sinister. Even. Yeah. <laughs> that really socio. does sound like mini me's like. Me associate. My associate. <laughs> <laughs> I want an associate. I want and I want a handler as well. I'm just. I'm just saying, man. That would be pretty cool. Like I. Like I would. It, I would. I'm so serious. I'd be so down to just like have someone. 
quite literally transport me where I need to go. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a I don't want to have to drive. That's the cool thing too about having a midget too. Like you could just like pick him up and go in case shit would ever pop off. Like think about it, if somebody there's a drive by, somebody could just pick up Vern Troy and what? just be like, we're, we're out of here, dude. I got you. <laughs> That's the worst case <laughs> Can you get a bowling ball of Vern Troy's head? All right, we're going to Patreon. Probably, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm, I, I would. There would be. There would be episodes where I would, where I, I would like. I would buy him like a Pendleton like mine and be like, "All right, dude, we're dressing alike." Yeah. Why like, is this like me? This, this maybe I'm the problem because I'm like <laughs> I'm like this is every scenario I think of with my cat for no reason. I'll be chilling. And I'm like, what happens if there's a fire? I gotta like. But we're talking about, a per I'm I'm gone. You guys. Oh, you just like giving yourself anxiety. I do that with different scenarios. Like I'm oh, like, <laughs> is that not what you're doing? You're talking about a drive by with. <laughs> so a drive by with Oscar. No, but you're talking about like, dude. I'm like, that would be the worst case scenario with your new bestie. Like, why would you want? No. We live in a crazy world. Gotta like, be ready I, like, for anything. We can, we, we can, we can, yeah, we can be going, we can be going to the fucking mall and just fucking filming a vlog, and some idiot crazy person decides, God forbid, do something crazy. I gotta be ready to pick up my midget. No, it's. <laughs> Yeah, true, if you don't also get a lot of weird secure the talent, dude. <laughs> you yeah, don't, the, if you don't get handler. one of those little like you're the handler, technically, yeah, it is. <laughs> professional. Okay, handler. so he would be so my like a bodyguard slash publicist. It would be like it, it would be like Robin Big. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I. It would. That's I like Big was the handler. For like your other half and that or other. Quarter. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I don't know if that was shady or mean. I'm sorry. That, I'm super that, neurodivergent. No, I know, that like, was uh, amazing. That was. <laughs> <laughs> it would, but it, it would be it would be pretty cool. It would be like kind of like a Rob. I would spark a whole series. I think I would be like Ray. You can executive produce this. Like I was like we we were creating Robin Big. It would be that would he would be my Crip Mac. You know how like China Mac has Crip Mac. That would be tight. Fuck. I miss that. I, I miss you. that show, man. Yeah, that, that was, was my really favorite show. fucking show, bro. And then when Big Black died, I cried. Yeah. Dude, that one hurt. Yeah. yeah, that one actually really made me sad. Big Black was amazing. He was a nice person too. Well, and if you watch, like, if you like, actually skateboarded, uh, there was an old DC music, uh, DC uh, skate video where they introduced Big Black because Rob Deerdick was doing his thing. And they start off with this sketch, and it's Big Black as his security. So anytime he goes to skate at a spot. To avoid getting fucked with, he'd have Big Black on site to deal with the security. And it was just, just as great. And that's kind of what set it up is it was cute because the dynamic and how they were like best friends working together. And then, you know, Rob and Big happened. And yeah, man, that was a great show. Yeah, it was. And then like they had problems for a while. And then not, and then like whoever was a fan of the show probably felt like me. I was like, man, I was like, what has got to happen, man? And then like when they then then became friends again and then he died. I was like, damn, he was a big guy. He had a big heart. <laughs> I mean, literally, I think literally. that was a big that was a big issue why he yeah. died. Like he had a heart attack. And yeah, it was pretty tall. And big. Like big food's dog. Like I don't, I don't know, man. You can't be like too big. Like what killed Andre the Giant? Like he was really big because he he just kept growing in his yeah, heart eventually. Heart, like yeah, yeah. It'll give out. Goddamn Grinch syndrome. Do you know anybody that like that'd be a good interview? I mean, like a gigantism person. I don't know anybody gigantic, no. But I can like you know they just won't stop growing. Like Natasha knows a dude that's here. Like, we go. Go, yeah. go ahead. Here we go. Ahead. go. What, what does that mean? <laughs> no. no, I just he's, he's gonna be like, yeah, you know, he met on the set of like, oh yeah, because Spielberg's oh, movie, yeah, 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 like because you've done like you've lived a million lives, so, right? We're going. I'm sorry, I'm not so. Out no, of it's me. okay. <laughs> no, I was gonna say, I think Natasha's one Which of her best? friends in Austin is like pushing seven feet. Oh damn, that's tall. He's a tall dude. I met him once. Does he like, play basketball? No, I he, always assume that right away. Yeah. I'm like that's think, a talent that you were born with. I think he. <laughs> well, I know for to stand sure by that, the court. I know that yeah. he for sure acts, but I think he also did hockey. Oh wow! Yeah, Natasha was in with some hockey people. Damn hockey! Natasha was also at, like Formula One races at one point. Like she too she has, has had a lot of lives. lives. Y'all both have been through many lives. Formula One races. That's crazy. She was bro. in Formula One. No, yeah, they well, have she a. Went to, she was like with. Well, you say it. you can tell it. You oh, yeah, they, it. They, they have the Circuit of Americas in Austin, which mm -hmm. is a big. That's yeah. going on. That's going on. Trying to go to. It's going on in uh, Vegas tight. right now, right? Like Formula One. Yeah. Yo, I, did, I didn't I know that go. they race on the strip. <laughs> what? That is crazy. Yeah. I didn't know that either. Yeah, like that's. I've been, I was. I was like begging anyone who would listen, and I was like, next year. 
I'll be like I've been saying it for three years. Like I've been dying to go to the Vegas race because it looks so. They shut down the city and they make it like it's the coolest. Yeah, I kind of want to go check that out because oh, I, go so I didn't. I didn't know that it went through the city. I was looking at them closing up, and there was a people. There was a lot of people. There's this blogger I follow who like he always lets you know what's going on in Vegas. Like you know, he does his like update. He's like, this is changing. This is changing. They charge you here for parking, so he lets you know. And he's like, yeah, right now it's a shit show because they got this going on. And he was filming. I was like, damn, I would hate to live there for this time, but I would just fly in. Go to the Airbnb, oh, that's exactly, it, and then just like fucking like you know, watch the race. Watch that's the my race. goal. I think next year I want to go, whether I have to buy a ticket or if I can the get in. It. Yeah, but like, um, I think it like it's also I feel like most people who live in Vegas, unless they're actually working on this trip, they don't really. A lot of them don't really go to the strip much. No, they go to Red like, Rock. Yeah, that's what I've heard. So like, that's where um, I stay. That's what. I, yeah. Oh, well, there you yeah. go. Um, but like, I remember when I was in Toronto last year. Um. IndyCar also, it was so cool. They they like shut down like this. It sucked for driving, but it was awesome. Like they shut down like the a couple of main streets that go throughout the entire city. And the race was just, and they do, they do this in many cities for Formula One and IndyCar. It's just, it's just painful to, it's more painful to do it in a city like Vegas because yeah. of how much money all these businesses and not just that, the locals hate it, bro. Like but I they feel like they actually make a lot of money because Formula One, if you... If you're a city, that's why they go to all these big luxury cities a lot because if, because it's arguably like one of the most expensive sports in the, the world. I feel like that's I mean, it's the only one I know anything about, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but um, some basketball, but I don't know. But um, they, I feel like they bring a lot of money too. But it's it is frustrating because it does interrupt a lot of like regular day to day. Yeah. And like that can be irritating, but it's like overall, I get why the city of Vegas is like, yeah, we're going to do this. Cause like, that's so much money that they get. I mean, it Austin just, does South by and it's that for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it kind of, it sucks on a local level, but I think like long term it is technically good for us. Let's talk about the economy for a little bit. <laughs> <Back to> you, <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, if she was like a Patronus, like Patronus girl, like a Patronus, <laughs> expectra Patronus. <laughs> Nerd. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's like you have read Harry Potter like twelve times. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, I love. Being have you been to Universal? Oh, been in the castle? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I I love being an ADHD person with a lot of hyper focus and being like. Do you dress up when you go there? Do you, do you take your little wand and shit? No, I have not done that. I would have growing up. I'm probably like if I went there the first couple of years I was at. I bought one of the wands and then like I don't take it there like I just have it in like. I the have collection. a wand, yeah, but yeah. I don't. <laughs> like, but when I bought it, it was kind of cool because you go around the little area and then like there's certain spots. Oh, where, you like, got the yeah where you interactive get, like, one. I just some shit. Plain one, so it doesn't do. Anything. And then the shit just like fucking does stuff. It's I mean it's cool you know but. I like the idea of you just shoving a kid out of the way like get out of the way idiot you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I mean that's fair. Um, I mean some kids are extreme. Yeah. Fuck them. They didn't I'd probably be it. right you know. I was gonna say I've seen quite a few kids just like like try to do that over and over again and like not and I'm like it's Olivia you saw <laughs> no, like oh my god give me it it's annoying. yeah you want to take it you don't deserve this dude <laughs> you know, fucking he's jerk. like your mom bought this for you you think you get to stay here I don't know yeah, like, throw I'm the whole child away level. dude <laughs> <laughs> your child doesn't know how to do magic fuck him be like dude just try again. <laughs> you got just leave him here, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> somebody will find him. Oh no! They'll sell him to Disney, and he'll be in the small world real quick. <laughs> oh, I actually love the it's a small world ride. I have to say, I it's so creepy. I it, was on yeah, mushrooms and height. That's not my favorite one. I, I just, just think it's cute. But it's it not was. My favorite. It's, the Japan one is better. It's I better. bet. Is it in Japanese? No, but like their interpretations of all the other uh, ethnicities, it's fucking awesome. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. I want to see it. Like, it just... yeah, like, it's like, I was just like, all right, so like, why are like black people in America like lighter? And then they go to the African ones. I was like, dude, why'd you guys make them super dark? And I was like, this shit is crazy. I was like, dude. And I, but, they, but they don't, I don't, it's not like, and then like the, they have like, they include all the other spots that like America doesn't. Like, they'll be like, hey, by the way, there's like a bunch of countries in the Middle East and a bunch of like, right. there's a lot of countries in Africa that actually have white people. It's not just black people there. You right. Know? And it's not yeah, just like, like Africa. It's like, and just like one, like yeah. the whole continent. Yeah. With like, yeah. But like, they, they got their shit down. down. All right, but like, yeah. uh, their concept, but I don't know. Like, Sounds like Japanese Disneyland is just it's lit. on another level. It's lit. Yeah. They, have a, they have a Beauty and the Beast castle. 
Oh, yeah. isn't that the Beauty and the Beast thing? Where it's a ride. You go in the teacup. It's fucking cool. No, dude. but isn't the is, is that the same one where uh, Beast turn like is dead and turns into? Yeah, he's hanging in the air and you see it, and I'm like, how did they do that? Like it's in it's in the fucking air and you see it. The animatronics there. It's like, man, I can't wait to go back. Goes from being Beast laying on the ground. You know the whole thing at the end of the Disney yeah. movie. But like you see it happen in person, and it just magically this this puppet just disappears, and now you see. The, the human version of... Uh, and he appears, like, right in front of you. And you're like, is this real? Like, is this, like... This is magic. I don't want to be, like, a lot of... Like, I don't want to say that I'm one of the Disney adults that, like, makes those, like, TikToks that adult. runs and cries, like, at, when they see the castle. But that would be me if I saw that in person, to be honest Oh, the best you. thing is Absolutely. that you, you can, like, take a picture in the castle there. And, like, nobody's going to be, like, fighting for that spot. Or you're not going to get people in the background. Because people respect each other there. It's crazy. Like, I'm, they're like, what's hey... That like? <laughs> like you know it's it's nice for somebody to be like hey like you're done with your picture cool i'm glad i waited for mine and i'm not gonna be an asshole while i'm you know what i mean it's it's, uh, it's so refreshing when people are that and i do i like i do encounter those people it's just very but rare. it's like it's sad that that's not the norm. the norm yeah and like it's common to just be rude to each other and like you don't have to be over the top nice or like, oh, let me be your bestie, but you can be like manners. Yeah, like just being kind. And we do live in a very like mindful, you know, super populated like part of we America. Do. So like, yeah, you kind of have like it's the overcrowding aspect of it where it's like just the fucking drive can just ruin your fucking mood. Oh, you know what I mean? Does. Yeah. So I said I I hate I I actually really enjoy driving when it's not a stressful like like driving through a desert. Yeah, like yeah. I don't I love a road trip. I love um you know. Just anything that's not, I'm not having people just like cut in front of me or like nearly hit me five times or whatever. Like, I'd rather be late and drive slow and chill than than any of that. And I feel like that can be really overwhelming. I do feel like I I still, like, you know, even if it's crowded and people are, it's like, I always really, really appreciate those people who are just a little bit polite and kind and just like, oh, oh, wait a moment. It's, and it's just like a nice little, it's exhausting. Otherwise, I feel like it can be. Do you yeah. think we were rude when we went to Magic Castle and saw that dude pull a cat out of thin air? Because I feel like we were belligerent. I was so drunk. <clears throat> I got shit faced. I got. I was so messed up. But no, I don't think we were rude. I think we were really excited. Okay, because there's I, a couple I people. I cried like, a little bit because I was so excited was about the cat. It's like two months ago. Yeah, it was like August. My. I was Magic Castle. That's the last I castle I went Fuck, to. <laughs> That's the last castle you went. <laughs> it's so goddamn tight. I, I love Magic, but oh, is that my mic? There we go. Shove it back. There we go. But yeah, no. <laughs> but no, I, I, I just remember the people in front of us. There's like three or four of them that kept turning around, like looking at us. And I was like, I don't give a shit. No, I don't they belong were being annoying. here. That's not, it was not like, even though I was super drunk that night. I mean, like I've, I've been, I feel like I've been to the castle a couple of times, a few times. And it's been like, that's really, they appreciate that. Like the magicians that energy. really do. And it wasn't like a, no one was like being disrespectful. It was like genuine excitement and shock at him pulling a cat. Out of thin air. A, a cat, a was full a adult cat? cat. It was a real cat. Yes. That's why I teared up a bit because I, cats are baby. <laughs> I, I, I cry when I see a cute cat video. I'm just very emotional and mentally unstable. <clears throat> I, like, <laughs> I like almost lost my voice at that show. I did. Yeah. It was my voice at that show. Were you, were you guys able to touch the cat? No. No, we were, in the, we were in the back row. And then I was like, after that, I was like, I told my brother was in town. Um, He... Was proposed. He proposed to his girlfriend at that Castle Park. The next day, the next no. day. Oh, I was like, damn. Um, but we <laughs> got tickets there because I kind of used that to finesse some tickets. I was like, oh, it's like their engagement. <laughs> um, so they even gave us for dinner. We got to sit in their seance room. That was pretty tight. Um, yeah, yeah, like, we, and that was like, and we uh, rock managed to sneak a couple pics in there too. Oh yeah, they were like, they were like you're to. not supposed to. And I was like, yeah, but they're just gonna say no the first time, and then you just like keep your phone. Like it's our <laughs> nard. Do they still have that arcade there? Arcade. What? Castle Park? Oh, not Castle Park. Magic Castle. Oh, Magic Castle. Sorry. Oh, shit. You're I, thinking about something else. Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm sorry. I thought about the whole different part. <laughs> but yeah, not the Magic Place. <laughs> no, no, no. The Magic Castle in Hollywood. Yeah. Um, yeah. The I've been there. The Academy. That yeah. shit is so tight. They I made my magic. fucking debit card disappear there. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> that, I swear, dude. I had a fucking whole big issue there, bro. The bar fucking lost. I was like, hey, bro, I don't like this magic One trick. One of your magicians. <laughs> yeah, like, I, like, I, like, literally, my, I didn't get my debit card back. I had to cancel it when I was there. Damn. I swear Wait, to God, that's dude. Insane. Yeah, like they, like. When was what? This was what? like, uh, I want to say like, 
When did the pandemic start? I went the day before everything shut down. Oh, show you March, like March 2020. 10th. Yeah, March 10th. I went. Th <laughs> I, was the I, I was there that night. I was there that night. Damn. Maybe someone was like, "We're all locking down. He's never gonna know." <laughs> 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 Fuck <laughs> this guy. He doesn't need this. My card. Um, like I was at dinner somewhere in Beverly Hills recently, where like with my cousin, and like my card disappeared, and they were like, "You never gave it." Like they didn't charge me, and then they were like, "You never gave it to us." And I was my cousin and I were like, "No, we saw." We both saw, I guess, it, like, one of the waiters found it later, right before we left. They were talking to you like a shady stripper. You, you didn't give me your card. And, and <laughs> Yeah, and both of us were like, and I was like, mm, I don't think so. I mean, like, I don't want to have to, like, my problem is all the subscriptions and stuff for payments, automatic payments. Yeah, forget. that's like, the Some payment. of them are like, yes. oh, my God, I hate it. I hate uh, having real fast, responsibilities. <laughs> you, you've dealt with strippers that use credit cards? No, like, when you open up a, when you open up a tab, <laughs> when you open up a tab, and then you're like, you know what I mean? And, the, and like, you're chilling, like. What is it? And then they bring your shit and you're like, what the fuck? Why are you trying to charge all this shit on me? You know what I mean? No, I don't go to the strip club often. Well, this was like years ago, but. <laughs> I've only, the only strip club I've been to is Jumbo's. <laughs> I've never been there. Jumbo's Clown Room. It's this, this, a, oh, wait, yes. I think I have been they there. They don't, yes. it's like. It's, it's softcore. Yeah, it's yeah. not quite, which was fine. Um, my The reason <laughs> I knew about it, they don't allow videos or photos in there, obviously, yep. which is great. But I had seen a video on Reddit of this girl <laughs> eating pizza like while she was she was just like laying on the pole eating pizza and i was like that's amazing that sounds like the, the strip club i was at like i was at <laughs> cheetahs and like, you know, the only reason we were there is because you know the godfather the wrestler yeah so like he used to run the spot <laughs> and like every time we went to vegas for like any weed shows or something like that yeah we would go kick it like all day at his office because he had all this wwf memorabilia and he would let us do whatever we want there like literally he just like yeah just go pour here and we'd just be there all night. i mean hey a free party is a free party i I respect that. I have got you to play with the, the title belts. Hell that yeah. would be the thing. I'd be like, yo, let me put that on. I did. No, that absolutely makes it worth it. I would, I understand the appeal entirely. <laughs> have you guys seen that Vice one star review video of the guy who goes to like the worst rated? Strip yeah, club? I've seen that guy's series. That I guy's watched that video. The one of him going to the worst, the one star review of the strip club. What? Is, I didn't see that one. That's the, that's the first one. And probably like, it's one of the few I've seen actually. I've seen like, I've started to see more, but I've seen that one like multiple times because it's so like mind blowing. It's in LA. It's like um, we've all it's like the expos or something, but we've all seen the billboards around. Yeah. And like they have um, and like the it like this video like it's the most unhinged place like this and like like all the the guys going through the reviews and it's like oh there's been a shooting here and the guy has a full blown like a sh I'm not joking like it's a shrine for Donald Trump inside and. A shrine for his guy. He actually prays. Oh him. yeah, yo, you know what? I have seen this one. He's yeah. like some super racist dude, right? Yeah, he's like an ex porn star. Himself. Yes. He's like, and he says these crazy things. He's like, I've got a secret bedroom down there. No, kid. like, so I'm, I'm fucking one of the girls in here. Well, my, my girlfriend, baby mama, is working at my porn video store next door. And I was like, this, and but his eyes are like bugging out the whole time. And I was like, that guy's. He's like the dude. He, look, he reminds you of the dude who runs a McCanny Manor. The you know, Manor? that McKinney Manor, that like that uh that that oh uh, the one where you where get you, tortured yeah where you get tortured it's like a it's like a well, I don't know. what yeah so there's it's like a haunted house that you sign like you have to sign a bunch you sign of a waivers. waiver yeah. yeah my friend Alice who's actually directing nothing I'm sorry I keep going to promo but Alice no, is directing this show and um her husband who is our like photographer filmographer. They have done. They did one of those. They've done a, quite a few of them. They are obsessed with horror, and they did one where their friend's head got completely shaved, um, and then they got electrocuted. A couple of them, which is crazy. And I was what like, I, I literally, fuck? she told me this, and I was like, so you're willingly traumatizing yourself? That's really fun. Yeah, How like that. <laughs> that shit. And it's crazy. Like, there's a lot of people that the guy, the guy who runs it, is actually pretty fucking nuts. The one I'm talking about, he's like McKinney. McKinney, McKinney Manor, yeah. That's the one that's like you that's get notorious. Ten thousand dollars if you stay for yeah. twenty four hours or eight hours. Yeah, he, like no. you're you're I'm putting fine. you're paying to get waterboarded. <laughs> like he's literally torturing you. That's well, I feel like the. Like people who do stuff like that, like you've got to like really have a kink or something for that. Cause there's like, no, why else would you do something like that? God damn. Yeah. No, no, thank you. There's other ways to get 10K that are less physically painful. It's not like 10K is hanging around, but like I'm sure, you know, there's yeah. the old, there are other old professions that don't involve literally getting yourselves. <laughs> like throw, like put you in a, in a tub full of snakes and you're blindfolded and just like ran. I'm like, yo, the snake bites you. Like, come on, man. I'm not trying to do that. Nah. Make you eat cockroaches. I'd be, I'd be so, I'd be so happy to be broke and not going through that stuff. 
than getting 10k for willingly putting myself through waterboarding and and like having to and being eaten alive and like ugh. yeah like i'm gonna be i'm looking at the shit i was like hey dude bro growing up broke traumatized me enough mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what you i mean add that on. yeah it's like so i was crazy. like yeah like i was like i don't need to 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 like create some kind of horrific adversity in my life for for, for life is traumatic yeah like enough, for, for, for me to just have something else to trauma dump on people like no it's like I, I, uh, especially something like that like i was waterboarded like uh oh, that's 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 no that's well, awful and it's only ten thousand dollars it's like ten thousand dollars is a it lot of money 10 to, million for me to be willing to like no even then you know i'm sorry uh, i'm not trying to die for you know what i mean like, i don't want to spend the 10 million on, a proposal on like here, going know. to therapy and like physically having to fix my body from whatever happened like that would just be a lawsuit you know what i mean yeah. like, <laughs> I don't even. I, I'm talking about this as if I have. Would that you? Kind of all right. So, what would 10k you, is not enough for that. Like, no. what? Would you rather go to one of those or stay in a real life haunted house? Oh, haunted house. Real life haunted house. But like Amityville Horror House. I mean, I don't think real life haunted houses are where like I think they're scary. They can be spooky experiences and genuinely scary. You believe in the paranormal? I do. Yeah. But I don't think it would be. It's not guaranteed waterboarding. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be like. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't feel like it's gonna be a gore fest if I go stay. Yeah, like I'd be, be other scary things that happen. Yeah, like they, I don't know, like psychological, like, like that that house. What's that? It's it's famous, the entity house. Don't want to get out. Amityville Horror House. Yeah, like yeah. The, yeah. Okay, so that one, I'm like, that had a lot going on where I'm just like, man, that's possession and like I don't, yeah, yeah, that's that's also scary, but it'd it, be rough, it'd be scary, but I I think at the end of the day, it's kind of like it's easier to go into the unknown in that respect than it is to be like, oh yeah, this dude's definitely gonna feed me bugs and zap like my balls and shit. Like willingly put yourself through torture and, yeah. and pain that you know. Throw me in a Like box. physical pain is compared to like, I guess like being spiritually exposed to something. I mean, that can be really damaging too, but I, I just feel like, I mean, I think when people think about, when people are scared of death or talk about being scared of death, for example, it's not necessarily, there's a couple things to it. One is like not being able to, see your loved ones in the same way or experience your loved ones in the same way that you've known or whatever but the other thing is really like a painful death people are really scared of that more than more than like passing oh yeah like, everyone wants to pass in their sleep that's the ideal way right but like or but, a stroke that's why or, i take yeah, tons immediate. of pain pills every night before i go to sleep mm. that's so true just, 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 if i'm gonna die it's gonna be in my sleep that's how yeah no but it's like <laughs> yeah like when you're like after a certain age you're just like well there's three and it's like <laughs> that's, but that's the thing it's like you're thinking about like this thing that the, yes arguably like that next part could be scary because you don't know what's happening but it's it's really like the painful aspect of because everyone knows it's coming but it's like that oh but does it have to be painful physically when i have to go like or can i just yeah like it like you know, imagine you know, like being mm -hmm. eaten by a shark that's how you die i was Fuck about to that. say to me my my top three like least favorite ways to die that i like would not want to do is like falling out of a, a high place drowning Drowning. Oh, I don't need, falling I out of a thing, burning alive, or being eaten alive. Drowning would fucking suck too, but I guess my asthma has me a little bit more like, I know what suffocating's like. I've, I have, I had asthma growing up. <laughs> I'm cool with up. that. Yeah, I'm that cool with like, fine. yeah, chug me a little bit now. Okay. <laughs> no, um, I had asthma growing up. I think I grew out of it, but I've never quite been like, I don't need an inhaler anymore, but I've never quite fully had, like there are times where I'm like, oh, well, might be I, a touch of the <laughs> I don't know. I got hospital equipment in my house. Oh, it's um yeah, but I feel like yeah. <laughs> I feel like drowning would be I think burning is like anything that involves um getting chopped up or any of that, like cutting through the flesh. Oh, you have flesh. Yeah, that was Dude, anytime you drive, you run that risk. I know. It's <clears throat> that shit is scary like when I when you think about it cuz you're like I you, hate driving in LA. <laughs> it, it is fucking scary, man. When you look at it cuz you I, I always look at my rear machines. Mirror. Yeah, like they're really death traps. Like, all right, would you rather be in, be in a, would you feel comfortable in like a, if the freeway was filled with cars or horses? <laughs> what? Like, what do you, what, I've what, never been on horseback, but I, what I do you think would, would be safer? That. I mean, the horses. horses. Yeah, right? Yeah. I don't know, cause like you can get Christopher you can Reeve. Get the, uh, my, that's why I've never been on a horse. My mom wouldn't let me growing up, cause she was like, "Remember Christopher Reeve." Remember Superman. <laughs> she would literally say, "Remember Christopher Reeve." Every Holy shit! Anytime Natasha doesn't put her seatbelt on, I always say Yellow Ranger, cause the Yellow oh, yeah, Power yeah, Ranger yeah, went yeah, through yeah. the windshield and died. It's so it's. <laughs> Duh. No, it's not. Yellow Ranger, that. put on your fucking <laughs> seatbelt. That is a great way to fucking say it. I, I think it's it's true. It's a quick little reminder. You just know immediately. Yeah. I. That's why you see so many of us 
ladies driving SUVs because we're like, oh, we would definitely get crushed in a second. At least this might like, lessen the blow a little bit. <laughs> and just, just like, <laughs> for us. they're like, I'm not in danger, but you guys else exactly. are. Exactly, I know. It's yeah. Like, like, I say all the time, people are like, You're, you might be safe, but everyone else is. And I'm like, maybe everyone should drive SUVs. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Good luck, everybody else behind me. Correct. <laughs> I don't need to put my turn signal on. It's fine. <laughs> okay, that I will not be a part of. I, I, will, I will flip. I used to have such bad road rage until this guy actually got out of his car and like, like oh shit you got confronted oh well i i uh, used to have, i used to get so angry. like how bad road rage yeah tell us well, i get my pretty road bad rage, rage would be yeah. like i wouldn't be doing the thing where i like start tailing the car doing anything like that right. but i would flip people off or like be like i'd be like i would just yell at them or buy and honk or whatever um especially because when i i was working a day job um and I, like my first day job out here long-term one was like at the americana the concierge and so like i would have suddenly like a last minute audition and i'd be like running to the other side of town and this one time i was parking and this other guy was coming in like he'd been weirdly like racing me and he's this old dude and i was like okay whatever and then i went to park and he was like trying to and i was like 90 90 percent of the way in, and then he like start, he like nearly hits my car to try to push me out and so I like stayed where I was and I honked and I lowered the window and I flipped him off and I was like, get the fuck out. Don't, like, what are you doing? And I learned because he got out of his car. As soon as that happened, he started like hitting my window. Cause I like, as soon as I saw that and he was like, um, I'll kill you. Like, oh, get out. And I was like, what? And then a cop actually was going by. So he left and I was like, well, that's the last time I ever do that. Like, Holy now shit. Now I'm very like, whatever. If I'm late to something because someone else on the road is being crazy, I'm just going to kill late. you. Like, I don't. That over a parking spot. I've chilled out on my like flipping people off. I've learned to just give them a thumbs down. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> it's a little less offensive, but it still lets you know, you know, hey, I'm disappointed in you. I love a lot more it. other people are carrying guns too these days. So yeah. I'm, pretty, I'm pretty careful, like, with, yeah. with yeah, because I'm just like, hey, man. I don't trust that yeah. I'm not going to. And people get literally, that's, I mean, people are trigger happy and it is always yep. an impulse thing and it's always a rage thing. And I mean, granted, I did that when I was like 21, 22, but what? The, trigger, trigger happy? Yeah, yeah you know. <laughs> she was with the shits. No, yeah, you know, no. Um, but that that little parking incident was like twenty two or something, and like I just, I've had, I've seen. Uh, there are people, I've seen like some of the craziest encounters out here. I'm sure you guys have had some of your own, but I haven't. Had, I look right at you, like I'm sure you've had one of your. There's own. Been, there's I'm surprised been a, I haven't. There's been a couple times where I've had or my witnessed. gun in my hand because I thought like, I've been I've been in danger, like. And I'm just yeah. like, yo, like, there's like three fools in this car, and they're like, they're tailgating you like a motherfucker. It's so scary. Like, I'm not. I, they're driving I, a yeah, like, honestly, I'm not. Machine. I'm not one of these motherfuckers. Just like, I gotta analyze the situation. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not about to just get shot randomly. No, I think. Yeah. Yeah. You, <laughs> but you know, but you know, you come looking for it. You know what I'm saying? It's like I'll give. I've, I've <laughs> learned to start doing honks to be more uh, helpful. I'll just rage honk at people. I'll be like, hey, wake up, bitch. But like, you know what, I, what, like, what? I just, I'm a fan of the, I always <laughs> like to, especially because inevitably someone who's pissed me off will end up at a stoplight with me or yep. stop sign. And I love just looking over at them and giving them the nastiest look. And I also love. Like, you're I, here too, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I also love when I, when I make a mistake, when I see someone pulling up behind or like next to me when I've made a mistake, I just love going like, oh no, I'm such a girl. Like, I don't know what's happening right now. I don't see you. <laughs> like, <laughs> But Do you know how to just, fucking drive? I don't know how any of this works. I'm just a girl. I don't know. Like, no, but it's funny. Like that, you can tell the difference when someone just made a mistake versus when someone's being an asshole. And I love giving them like the little the carrot look where I'm like, you know, another thing that's also helped with my perspective and like not having as much of road rage is if somebody's driving like an asshole, and, like weaving, and they almost hit you, whatever. I've learned, and it, it changes my mentality immediately. I just assume that they're in a hurry because they got to take a fat shit. So now I'm rooting for them. I want them to get to their destination oh, safely. No. <laughs> we've, you know, we've all been there, you know? You know, I res that's true. That um, has honestly helped me just kind of immediately remove my ego context, and myself. Context, a little bit of like, you know what? I don't know what struggles they face. Somebody literally said the most um, factual thing on the, the chat room right now. said, I carry prisons, good weed. No, they said prisons are full of yeah. impulsive people. I always try to step back and think logically instead of reacting emotionally. Fuck you, David. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. And it's like, 
there are all, there can be a lifetime of consequences for an impulse decision, and most people usually regret those. And the, yeah, and like, decisions. and everybody who's been locked up, that like, especially like knowing a lot of people that mm -hmm. you encounter, and they've had their different experiences. Everybody will literally tell you it's another world in there. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Like they, you, you like whatever ha whatever you had going on in your regular life, you forget it. It's, yeah, yeah. It's like you're you're. Yeah, you're. It's a whole different fucking world world in there. From what you I have hear. to adjust to. Yeah, I've been, I've been told many times to um from like people I'm close with that like it's not just it's not just like an obvious like oh of course you'll change as a person. It's like no my the way I experience the world coming out too is a completely different like it's a lot like how it is for some people coming back from something as light as another trip to another country or a war zone in another place, you know, or, you know, like not a trip from another country. I can't the trip anymore. to the other country seems nice to me. That <laughs> would be nice. I said trip to another country. I mean, moving from another country. I can't wear it anymore. You guys I'm out, but like, <laughs> I think you got a second, you think you got a second hand today. I think I did, but I'm enjoying it. <laughs> you no, no, it's you a nice little. Con I usually hear the, like, I know that there's a, there's a clear signal that happens with, the, with like the guests. No, it's not, it's not that when it happened on Friday, when we had, I was doing the green thumb show downstairs. And we had metal mayonnaise and I just kept smoking and I had two hash holes because I put hash in them. And I was just like, the smoke just kept going to him. And in the middle of like <laughs> an hour, like after the first hour goes on, you just hear. <coughs> oh, and yeah. It, yeah. And, and yes. And I heard one cough from you and I was like, that's oh, the one. Goes. Well, and I could tell, too, because I'd start saying things to you guys. And then I'd be like, what am I saying right now? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. What are they saying now? <laughs> Where the fuck am I? This isn't the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I wake up, I'm like, is this reality or what? No, what? Well, one of the things I wanted to at least ask you before, like, they, before you, like, you know, get, this is over. How did you end up working with Arnold? Um, I ask myself that every day, to be honest. I did um, a show for four years out here um, with... Was with, with Glenn, Glenn Howerton, Howerton. Yeah, um, and, and Patton Oswalt and like really great people to be learning from, honestly. Um, and uh, wow, I, I am definitely feeling it. It's the second half for sure. I'm like, this is nice though. I'm like, <laughs> it's very smooth. I didn't even notice it, come on. Sorry, um, but then I ended up actually getting asked to audition for it. Um, and I think they were just, I, I thought they were just looking for like an Indian person or just a, an ethnic person, but I found out later that the role was written for me. Um, oh, specifically for you? Well, yeah. with me and like me as the prototype, based on that other show I'd done before you. Oh, and I didn't know that um, at all because I still had to audition. I still that's had to call back. I though. still had to do a test, and then I found out later that I was like they didn't even think I was available. Um, oh, which is because kind of, they thought that that other show was still going. Like they didn't know. Oh, yeah, which it had been canceled. It was like off the air, but. Um, yeah, like, and so it just kind of happened on a whim, and I just was like, I just was very like, I, I'm still kind of in a state of disbelief about it because I'm, I feel like I'm always like in another reality. Yeah. I'm like, ah, this, none of this is real. We're all in a cave, but you know, like, um, that's pretty much how I got thrown into this mix with all these like really so very famous, talented, so you, like, legendary people. But it's like you know, you 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 have you actually have like a relationship with him, like, and like he knows you type of type of deal. That, yeah, it's it's a newer, I mean, the man is like one of the busiest people I've ever met, which is crazy given how like old he is. You still I mean, I, Yes, he's always working out. It's like that, playing chess or smoking a cigar. That's all he's doing. When he's dude, that, that just makes me so happy. He's I like the manliest it. fucking man <laughs> ever, dude. Man. I mean, when I say that's all he's doing, I mean in his downtime, because at the same time, he's always on the go. Like he just had a book come out, like that, like, it's like a self-help book or something. And he's like been touring the world, like promoting it. Like, I don't know. So um, sometimes like even if you work with a person, you're like, oh, they're so busy. They may not like remember me or whatever, even though we work together every day for like months. Um, but no, he like he's very famously always been really cool about like his like really like embracing his co-stars and like being keeping them like family. And um, he invited me to he had like a 
Tashin book come out this year, so I got to see that. And then he had his Oktoberfest this year, which is where my dad met him. And I like Jamie Lee Curtis is there, and I was like, oh. What? Yeah. She like, eats at the restaurant I go a lot to. What? Yeah, I, she's I a, love her. <laughs> she's always at. She's always at like Dear John's. She has a table there. That's her table. All right, that's Jamie Lee. Tight. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, like she was there, like my dad didn't even see her first cause she was crouching down and hanging out with all the goats. Arnold had a ton of animals there at like this Oktoberfest thing. And I was just like trying to take it all in. And it was just so surreal that, you know, it's very surreal. Like if you didn't grow up yeah. in the industry for any of us <clears throat> that just watched T2 a lot growing up. Right. <laughs> what yeah. the fuck? That's dope. And congratulations on that. Like for real, like that is really, I mean, the, the, like, has this opened up the door for more roles that have been written for you? Like, um, I sure hope so. Although I haven't heard about anything with, I mean, it's this because it's unexpected, right almost like too. right. Yeah, it, it's unexpected. Like I, I'm always creating my own things, um, and like doing my own projects, and you know, whether it's films or theater. But, um, but like you know, obviously we're on strike right now, and we're waiting to, uh, like I'm, I'm hoping that the AMPTP can like actually step up and give us what we're asking for. It's very fair what we're asking for, especially with our likenesses. And I don't want like a CGI version of me talking down the road, but it's it's not about us either. It's about the little guy as well, like especially all of our background. And so like hopefully if that can be resolved, I actually think there's the potential to do a lot of really cool. <laughs> like I've I've talked to a lot of friends about creating projects in this like bigger scope and you know i had some meetings before and i'd like to actually do that like and and know that the, those people are going to honor all my creative people too yeah i just had a rant for a second because i'm like guys corporate greed sucks <laughs> you know? yeah it's been going on for over a third of the year now it's insane and it's, it's the longest strike right yeah yeah well sag hasn't been on strike since 1960 when we got health insurance i say we as if i was alive <laughs> then but um, it's just like, I think it's just that, um, I'm sorry. I just, uh, <laughs> yeah, rock goes into stealth mode when he does this. I know. Thing. I just was like, he doesn't right, just right. do with my other reckless co-host doesn't just like fucking fuck up the shot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I, mean, yeah. I was like, where'd he go? No, no. But it's like, they, it, there's so many things that I've heard about, like, background actors just being like copy pasted in the like and then not getting paid for days and yeah like, it's just like you get 200 bucks for a marvel superhero movie like what's that about 200 bucks like that's all you get i would have sold weed to everybody there and made more than 200 bucks <laughs> like that, <that's, laughs> like i would have just walked but in it's there fucked with... up, like you have to do that like the fact that you would have to do that when yeah. you could get paid all of that and get money from the weed you know what i've, I mean? I've <laughs> done that with every with every job that like when they try to like do that like i remember like you know, like I do stand up and then like anytime somebody's just like, oh, yeah, it pays like 15 bucks or 20 bucks. I'm like, dude, like I can I can walk out of here and make like whatever you're charging at the door from figuring out a hustle here. And it's like, but if you love it, you're going to do it. You yeah. know what I'm saying like that's yeah, yeah. that that's where it's like a what do you call it? Ray? Labor of love. A labor of love. Labor yeah, love yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. A little that, passion project. Yeah. Passion project. <laughs> that's I feel like. Anytime you're taking the entrepreneur route, like you always, oh, yeah. <clears throat> you're always going to encounter that. Yeah. Where it's like, you're willing to sacrifice getting paid for whether you're making like your first t-shirt, you're making your first movie, your first audition. Mm -hmm. It's, it's gonna, it, it's gonna start off Rocky. You have to invest, right? Like any business, you gotta invest a little bit yep. and you'll get it back later. That's the hope. Ideally. <laughs> what, are, what are some side projects you're working on? Like some like side projects? or yeah like I a think side... you said some SAG projects no 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 I no I said side I said yeah side projects like you know um, aside from like acting and stuff like yeah well <laughs> um, well honestly I'm my brain has fully just been on nothing special because it's been coming out this week and I haven't had time to do anything else for so long um so like I'm kind of drawing a blank um right now um oh I did have one show I'm allowed to say. They got a SAG waiver that is acting, so I will say. But it was um, it was earlier, it was earlier during the strike. Um, I did have an animated series come out um, called Mech Cadets, which was pretty cool. Oh, I did, I did see that came out. Yeah, that's uh, three Netflix shows yeah. for you now. Damn. Somehow, yeah. Although that one I had gotten like independently, like before any of the other things that I. Even before the, uh, the, yeah, cause the it other took, Halloween esque one. Yeah, because it oh, took wow. like it took about a couple years for us to do like they created their own like animation style like in Japan for the show and 
<laughs> it took us like a couple of years to like we recorded everything and then by that point you know the other stuff started coming out which was kind of cool um other projects i mean yeah i'm sorry i'm trying to I'm, i got so high from the second hand and like my you brain have. is just this is i have not slept you guys i had to take like so like we've been having to take nyquil and melatonin not both at the same time but you like should. It, you could probably no, take I a nap after this podcast oh i will like, cause yeah. I, you, you're probably feeling pretty good. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely going to have a good nap. It's a fat <laughs> nap today. I've like, we've been, we are DIYing the entire installation for this thing. Like, and so I made the whole silver carpet backdrop myself. I, I can't wait all for that. next week. So like, it's been so fun, but silver fun. carpet sounds like Cisco's hair. <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's like what I picture because you know, like, I, like you know, like remember when he dyed his his, uh, his little hair? Yeah. Does yeah. anybody know who Cisco is? Do you know who Cisco is? The thong song. Oh yeah, I thought there you meant. I, I thought you guys were talking about a friend. A drink. Of yours, so I didn't know. You thought we were talking about who? Like a friend of yours or oh. something? Oh no, yeah. no, no, no! I was like, for a second, I, was, I thought she was gonna say, I thought you were talking about the drink. I was like, yeah. if she knows what the fuck Cisco is, she's down. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like I was like, if she knows what Cisco is, that is like a whole other thing. That's like a before four locos. I was about to say, Jesus. Dude, I, 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 did not, I, did not, I used to drink them shit. So like Cisco's, um, they used to sell those shits at like the liquor store. It used to be next to the malt liquor section. So it used to be like Mickey's 40s. Like, but 40s was malt, like those were malt liquors and they used to have a little grenades. They used to have the MD 2020s. God damn, I got fucked up off. Fucked up off those will fuck you up. And then they used to have the Colorado wine and then they used to have Cisco's. And then I don't know, <clears throat> at least my age when I was underage drinking, like <laughs> That's what all I remember, I remember running into like a few Zimas, and I was like, "Yo, these things have got to be expired." You know what I mean? That was like it was like usually like, oh the Zimas, yeah, yeah, like because you know I was like those things got discontinued, and I remember like I tried one, and I was like it was nasty. I uh, I had MG twenty twenty uh, on a uh, river float, and I didn't realize this, but while you're sitting on your back floating, getting drunk, like you get a little bit of a good buzz. I thought I was really good at drinking. Then you get out and you got to go up these stairs to get back to street level. I went from being sober-ish to almost blackout drunk. Because you're floating versus... My face was so numb by the time I got to the top of those stairs. I feel sick just thinking about it. To be oh, honest. yeah. I haven't touched this shit since. That was awful. Oh, yeah. You know, I <clears throat> I did something. Me and my girl went to, like, Knott's Scary Farm. And then I was like, you know, I was filming that day and I took all those edibles and then I was, and, yeah, and and, and, uh, and then yeah. I'm just like, I don't know what made me just like, I don't know, I want maybe I wanted to feel young that fucking day, bro. I buy some fucking beat, but I buy, buy some beat boxes, right? You know those fucking like the the little thing, the little liquor thing. Oh my god, yeah. And then on top of that, I don't know what like Xavier. After I told him what I added to the beat box, he was like, "Who are you?" Like you know, like I, and I went and I saw the ninety nine bananas and ninety nine things, and I put it on in the fucking beatbox, and I was just like, <laughs> "Oh my god!" And I just chucked two of those before we went in the park. Man, dude, I had just two of those was enough for me to wake up the next day. Like, fuck, man, like just not wanted to do shit, and I don't miss that at all. I don't think my liver misses it at all. I like drinking the finer things sometimes, you know, like that small batch whiskey. I feel like the older. <laughs> You get like, and it's not even like being old. It's just like a little bit older than the last time you drank. You know what I mean? Like it, things like, oh, a nicer quality wine or a, a better distilled whiskey. You actually notice the difference in your hangover if you have one or like how your body processes. I didn't know that because I used to, if I would get wine for things, like I would get like, one of the cheaper things. Boxtail from, wine. Yeah, or like some cheap one from like Trader Joe's. And some of the cheap ones, they're good. But like, I would get them and then I'd be like, why the fuck? Like, I had one glass. Why am I so hungover? Like, what's happening? And then like, Kristen walked me through. She was like, girl. like, yeah. So I want to learn. You drink sugar. Just because the wine yeah. makes you sleepy doesn't mean that the wine's hitting. You know what she I'm saying? She was like, you're having, she's like, you're drinking a lot of sugar and like weird shit. Like, don't. Like. I did find they got this. Uh, Blood of Christ in a cup. Exactly. It's, it's like well, a, that would be pure, I think. <laughs> <laughs> so. Zero calories. I have this one called Moon. I would damn, if there was a wine called the Blood of Christ, I swear to God, that shit better be zero calories, bro. <laughs> Is blood actually zero calories, though? It can't be right because I feel like it's an. I mean, it's an. It's like food that it's in pet food. Animals, bats mm. drink it. Like they've got to have calories, right? That's true. But then with Jesus's blood, can somebody Google how many calories is Christ worth? 
<laughs> no, it's Christ's blood. It's Christ's blood. Specifically. You can also look up his other. <laughs> Dude, Lizzo's blood might give you might raise your cholesterol. Who's? Lizzo's blood. Like if you're if, if you're oh, if you're a bat, <laughs> imagine you're a bat. By the bat becomes fatter. <laughs> like yo, <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I would imagine, like you know, when a mosquito bites me, like now I wonder, like if he gets like a high calorie count and he gets high too, because he's like, fuck this, dude, man. Like, like, like I feel no, like no, I'm thinking about like all the different kinds of like ways you could get, you could have like you could get fucked up if you had like blood that from someone who's like super under the influence of like so many different things and Charlie Sheen in the early 2000s, and, like, that with a wild. winning tiger blood. Yeah. Did, did you say tiger blood? Yeah, tiger blood. Uh, damn. Like, that's kind of that's, that's definitely like i want to know what's in that like, <laughs> the fact that he said that is he lets you know that it, a statement like that is something uh, a person who is consuming a hell of a lot of cocaine i was says. gonna i mean like yeah. i've said he, like when my partying days like i remember saying some things that till this day my friends will not let me live, live down like remember <laughs> what you said like what what's one of them embarrass yourself no nah, i can't say those words <laughs> okay yeah. fair fair, fair. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they're like dude <laughs> No, yeah. I swear. When I swear to God, it's like every you can always tell. It's always coke. <laughs> People are saying shit like that because you're like, wow, you've turned into like you're a, this different switch turned off, and suddenly coke, you're like in coke, another like. Coke is the mask in a bag. You know, remember like Jim Carrey? Oh my God! Yeah, that's that. It's a narcissist mask. <laughs> it's it's, it's, it's like, like you putting character. on that Jim Carrey mask that in a movie. Yeah. That's what coke is in a bag. Because because remember like he it made I him into a ladies man now. quote unquote, and then he was kind of a jerk. Yeah, yeah no, that's what I mean. Like he's like kind of like I'm on a god tier now. I am a golden god. You're like, what the fuck? Like, what's happening right now? <laughs> I'm on coke. Hey, yeah, that mask was know. pretty sick though. That movie, I saw it again. I can't believe I never got into it as a kid. You weren't into the mask as a kid. I no, need to that and I appreciate it, it so much good. now. And I'm just like, man, this is just another reason why Jim Carrey's so great. That movie was, uh, dude. The comic book is gnarly for that. Um, there's a Japanese the version comic. of it, and it's very violent. Dude, the comic book, yeah. the whole comic book is extremely violent. Who did the violent. comic book? I forget. I think it's a... Uh, DC, right? No, no, no. I think it's like Dark Horse. There's like an independent... Yeah, I, I know Dark Horse. They're from yeah. Portland. Yeah, I think... They used to, who, they used to the have artist? a shop in Universal City Walk. I, I know. I used to that go. used to be my favorite fucking shop, and now they still fucking stupid universal studios no, merch. Like, they don't have a lot, a lot of fucking merch already. Like, seriously, like, they used to have... With the alien ship crashed in the building, remember? Know, and then so the sick. display of all those toys. That shit was so fucking I feel hard. like I collected comic memorabilia in the like the golden era of it. You I have my I mean? comics. I still like I, I still have such an appreciation for it, but I feel like when I was really like hardcore about collecting things or getting like collectors pieces, it was at the time where stores like Dark Horse were at Universal or like you could actually get cool things and like now it's well, that, I'm sure you can get cool things now too, but it's like there was not a as cool. Walk. They have a comic book store there now, but it's like eh. Ugh. Yeah, it's not like I remember there's certain things in that dark comic store. I mean, Dark Horses. Dark store. comic store. <laughs> dark yeah, comic. That, it's, that, like, it's like the dark web. I remember, <laughs> I remember being like, it was like 1995 and just seeing like such a detailed mask of like Venom from Spider-Man. I'm just oh, like, what so cool. the fuck? Where do you see this? And I was like, you just you see, you, and then you've seen the statues and all the stuff they collect. And you know what was even like a better fucking trip that like our treat out of it that I remember that this store forever lives in the back of my mind. Remember that store that was all about glowing stuff that used to glow in the dark? There used to be a cross store, from, from dark, uh, dark Horses. I don't know how, no. like, but it, it used to be called Glow. And you walked in I there like and everything was fucking like glowing. Like they only used to sell glow in the dark stuff. It was like the coolest fucking store as a kid. Oh my God. Imagine working there for eight, eight and a half hours a day just in the dark and then stepping outside and, and having dark. to readjust. No, but you step. Okay, well, it depends on when your shift ends. Could you could you imagine like you could go a whole day unless you take a little break for coffee or something and, and not like, see just the. Be in the <laughs> I was born in darkness, molded just by it. <laughs> pale after six months of working there. Yeah. This is what this is I what it would look like. I would look so sick. If look, that's like what the display, the display would look like, and it would be like. That's so ninety. Yeah, it's it's, so it's definitely some ninety shit. It's so cute. And I remember seeing this store. I used to love going in this store. I can't. Damn, it's like I love it when my brain like gives me like new memories unlocked. <laughs> Core memory unlocked. You guys have to. I have to like if I can remember to after this, I will have to send you that like video of like that car commercial going down and like the. Oh my god! Part. I swear to. I know you've seen it. I'm gonna send you. A it text was like right a viral now. thing. Yeah, please do because then I'll be like. <laughs> they had Ritmo Latino there too. Remember? Oh yeah. The CD store. 
I don't know why the fuck they have that bitch ass sock store, bro. Like, who the fuck wants to go to Universal Studios Hollywood and fucking buy ten fucking pairs of different socks? Like, man. You never know. I mean, I mean, I appreciate socks so much. But a whole fucking store to waste real estate. Okay, yeah, that's true. I'd rather have it be an item at a store that sells. Like, I, I love. Like, my, I'll buy the Harry Potter socks if, or like the Minion socks if that's all they have. Yeah, but they're gonna I sell those at the Universal <laughs> store anyway. No, that's what know? I'm yeah. saying. Like, I'd rather have an item at a store than yeah. like, the full store. It's like the other thing that pisses me off, and <laughs> I love my fucking hats. Everybody knows I love my hats. I love customizing my hats. I collect them. There's no fucking reason. There's, there's there needs to be three lids at Universal City Walk. Is there three? There's lids three right now? fucking lids there, bro. There's, there's one. Needs yes. to be one. There's a lids, a lids locker, and the and the Dodger store slash lids. <laughs> That's stupid. Why? And like, and I'm just and I'm just like, yo, <laughs> how, so much money. <laughs> like, I'm just like, dude, this is crazy. Uh, I mean, I never been to the Wolfgang Puck in there. I just never, it never really appealed to me. Can you do me? You should, you should hit all three lids in one day. I have right. when I, when I, when I go like when I have orders for custom for to customize certain hats. Yeah, yeah, like, uh, like they've got to be making good money to have. Oh, for sure. Like, why else would they have to? But then it, it does blow my mind that they have three separate. They sign leases too, like Abercrombie and Finch. I don't know who the fuck is wearing who Abercrombie is and Finch. Abercrombie buying Abercrombie? But this shit is still Universal. there. Thirteen year old me. No, not at Universal. As, that's the point. That's why I'm like. No. But if I. <laughs> We're 13 year old. She said 13 year old. At Universal, I would have been like, yes, I'm going to Abercrombie. I'm going to Abercrombie before I go in. However, I, yeah, I would. If I was like, I'm not feeling cute enough, mom, buy me a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no. Do you know how much this trip cost? Yeah, I would still cry about it. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I would parents. just want Ben and Jerry's afterwards. <sighs> now I just want Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's is tops. I'm just a coffee fiend, so I'm just glad there's a little Starbucks action. There's a little tequila. Or Margarita Cantina area there too. Oh yeah, the, it, now it's called ah, fuck. I forget the name, but they changed it up. It used to be called Cantina something, but yeah, you know, Ray, I, I realized something today. The two espresso shots back to back are cool on a Thursday show when I'm tired at six. Yeah, are you when wired? I take those double espresso shots, I feel like I did too much cocaine. I was about to say, I uh... I've been feeling like that. My heart's been feeling like that for like fucking like thirty minutes, where I'm just like. Especially depends on like because I just drank it black and it's an es I two Nespresso caps I can't, back I, to back. I could not do that. I there's I don't know if you guys have for me like having different. I always have like a latte or something just like sweet or like yummy because I just I'm just a baby. Yeah, like but uh, I can't do it. <laughs> but um, there is uh, Phil's coffee. Have you guys had that? Oh, before? Phil's coffee is good. I it's so not. good, but it is the only coffee that will have me actually bouncing off walls. Yeah, there's something about their it's coffee like that gets crack. you wired. It is. Every time I go there, I'm like, oh, this shall last me. Like, I will have a half of it. And I'm like, this has been a delightful experience. However, I simply, <laughs> I'm I done. simply need to calm the fuck down. <laughs> I had this uh, the, uh, outside the, the higher path. They used to have this uh, Greek coffee guy set up out there. He's really nice. Um, but holy shit, his coffee's got crack in it. It has to. I they used to put co cocaine, as we all know. <laughs> you know, I've just never had coffee have me that fucking. I was wired. wanting to try that cocaine with coke. I bet it'd be tight. Like just to like, but from the factory. You know? Yeah, yeah. Don't don't, don't put <laughs> your own factory. coke in there. It might have fentanyl. Yeah, like you know, like. <laughs> I wonder if with the way those bottles are like sealed, does that? It can't possibly if it's like a hundred year old bottle. Like oh, safe, right. I'm I'm curious about. I gotta look that up. That's gonna be my click hole for them. Like, <laughs> damn, damn. Is that a, like drinking a hundred year old Coca Cola? I'm sure they've done some kind of science experiment with that. I I would not because I still. I don't saw a guy do it on YouTube <laughs> with uh, like Crystal Pepsi, and he like he chugged it or he drank it, and Crystal he. Pe oh, wasn't that, that shoe nice? I, I don't. I, I don't. I Wait, mean, how old was it? It was like what from, from the eighties, yeah, like late 80s, and it, it looked Are you yellow. Like crystal Pepsi, like just have crystal meth. Like it looked like yellow, ye it's yellow as hell, and I, and like he drank it and he just threw up. It was like disgusting. Okay, it was, so we it was have Pepsi the without food coloring. It was clear Pepsi. Nasty. So yeah. It, nasty. <laughs> nasty. <laughs> I like that you just like you just make up words as like the higher. <laughs> I just unfortunately just will say what comes into my brain. <laughs> That's nasty. Yeah, yeah, that's um gross. Okay, so we know the answer. So you you're throw gonna have to just make your own, I guess. DIY. Make your own Coke, Coca Cola. <laughs> no, at none home. for me, thanks. Yeah. You know what? They have a, a YouTube. I told you, dude. I reached the year sober. On oh, on it's Coke? November. Congratulations. Yeah. Yeah, I remember we, uh, what is it? Stop partying a year ago. 
It's so funny because I remember you did it, but I never saw it. Yeah, well, I mean, we would do it when we were on break. He sheltered me. He knew I was young and naive and couldn't handle the truth. Oh, I'm just sheltered. I've never done. I've actually never done. Uh, but be... I also, I also won't. It's not. I know. I don't think it's for me. I think. Yeah, it's, it's it's it was just one of those things where it's just like we were partying hell a, a lot, and then it just got to the point where I was like, I don't want to die in somebody's bathroom. I'm done. Fair. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm just constantly hyper. <laughs> like, I'm like a. I'm like an Energizer bunny already, and I also feel like I would like it so much, and it would ruin me. It's and I'm pretty like, you tight. Know what? I, I'm gonna let other people do their thing. It's more dangerous <laughs> when it doesn't ruin you, and you think you got you're cool with it. But so, that's why it would. Yeah. That's, because if you get too comfortable with, it, that's how habits. You know anything? Yeah. yeah I, like I'm. I I know myself. I know I'm gonna like it too much, and I have no self control. So yeah. <laughs> If you already have access to Adderall, just stick to that. <laughs> no, not even that, dude. Just fucking get sleep. <laughs> yeah, like straight up, straight just up. Sleep. Just, just sleep. Take some edibles and go to sleep. You wake up good, Just take a nap. I love a good night's sleep. I love a good coffee. I like having that. And I'm like I said, I'm, I have two modes. I'm Energizer Bunny or I'm Zombie. Like there's no. You definitely got a lot of energy. Huh? You definitely got a lot of energy. Oh yeah, I'm all over the place. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but um, I do. Let's 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 give her a hand, gentlemen. You know, I appreciate you coming by. Like this has been a fun interview. Thank well, you so much, and con me. congratulations on uh, on everything that you've achieved. And I mean, it's cool that you work with Arnold, and the fact that they rolled, they they worked, they made that role for you. That is. It just really lets tight. you know that like there's like the best is yet to come in your future, and we wish you nothing but the best here. And promote your show one more time. I mean, I'm gonna try to pull up with the uh, you know with the crew. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, it's nothing special. Um, you can check it out at nothingspecialshow.com. We've got two nights you can still get tickets for. and um, We'll be there be the smoking fun. night. Yeah, yeah, Thursday should, night, baby. That one's going to be fun. The show is going to be so fun. And, like, you're going to get – you can get your own 60 screen test. You'll get – we have a Polar photo booth. Damn. Uh, if you do oh, I can wear out. my fucking hat with the feather. Dude, I was about to say, like, I, I think you should definitely express oh. how much people should come in costume because – uh, it's so immersive. Like at your party, I had so much show fun up being, in a zoot zoot. Like I showed up in like a <laughs> whatever that means. And honestly, like we have we have a crew of people that's helping us, and we've assigned all of them a superstar. And like they famously did not get along with the hippies, like the subculture spot. So like if you show up, I wouldn't be surprised if you got Rob, ragged on I'll by show, some of our crew. I'll, dr I'll dress up as a zoot zoot, and you dress up as a sailor, and we just fight, dude. <laughs> Holy oh, shit, we're do. recreating the riots. <laughs> yes. Yes. No, bring the 60s to the factory. It's so just, fun. Like, we want it to feel like you're going back in time, except you can have your phone. You, you're going to have to beat me up pretty bad. That way people feel bad for Hispanic people because of what happened. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <They're> like, <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> like, white people done enough. Come on. <laughs> let me let me take a step for back. history, dude. <laughs> for history. The, beat yeah, me up. The historical reenactment. Where I'll I take, too would be just I'll take Oscar Xavier size. just I'll take Xavier and be like, Yeah, we'll both dress up as He's like, Why is Rock hitting us? It's okay, why I'm cosplaying it? as a white woman, so it's okay. Like, you know, <laughs> like I'm literally playing a woman who's great grand or like she's descended from like people who signed the Declaration of Independence. I'm like, Holy whatever shit. the fuck. Yeah. Oh, that's Her dope. cousin is Kevin Bacon's wife, Kira Sedgwick. Huh. Just saying, I found that out. Two AM scroll. Kevin Bacon. Bacon. Six degrees of Kevin Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> And uh, where, where can they follow you to like uh, keep up with you? Oh yeah, um, well I only have an Instagram, which is Shout just a part of Riel. And um, we tagged, we tagged, we tagged her. So everybody, oh, I, I know she made a cool little drawing too. I was like, oh, hello. Yeah, shout out to Chili. She always, I, Chili. I, I'm, I'm so gonna start impressed. filming every time. Well, we usually do get them on the in the air, but I get compliments for the. For the flyers, even off air, people just love your artwork, Chili. So appreciate it. It's so you. good. I was. It, it also made my whole. I was so excited to see that. I was like, oh my god. Well, what's her name? Is Danny Phantom this time, right? Like it looked like Danny Phantom. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's Danny Phantom. I was theme. like, oh, I look like the little. <laughs> what's her face? I forgot her name, but you know. the little goth girlfriend. Yeah, 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 a combo of her and like the. There's a girl who always wears like light, like a light color and a mini skirt. Yeah. Oh I need to go back and watch. I need to rewatch. That show is good. All the Butch Hartman stuff is good. Um, I definitely would like a copy of that art, though. I oh, yeah. Myself. We'll talk to Chili. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's so cute. Yeah, she, like... she usually makes prints. We'll definitely get you one. Chili so. Chili is is a great human being. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, yep. Chili. And I see you I see you bowling, too, Chili. Run that fade. <laughs> uh, what is it? Uh, <laughs> what is, what is it? Uh, Ray, shout out. Shout out to a partner. Thank you for coming through. You're always welcome here. Follow me at Morning Shot Films, IG and YouTube. Check out my website, morningshotfilms.co. Shout out to Xavier, who's in St. Louis right now, right? Yeah. Yeah, um, man. Would have been a different show if you were here. 
toxic. Oh man, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Check out my podcast, The Morning Real. That's it. Rock. Shout out, Aparna. Thanks for coming through. This is a long time coming. This is a lot of fun. Um, I'm excited about the show next week. Nothing special. Um, again, check the uh, the link on the uh, on the YouTube, <clears throat> or you can find her on Instagram via the post this morning. Uh, link in her bio, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. There we go. Yep. Um, follow me on all my socials at R O C K S A M S O N A T X. Follow my group, The Beautiful Men's Club. And uh, yeah, stay. Oh, and uh, yeah, stick around for the uh, the closing set. Uh, salute to everybody who tuned in. Thank you so much for coming. It was definitely quite the vibe. I learned a lot. Uh, you know, just I'm like, just the acting life. You know what I mean? I was like, or just like what you got going on is is, is crazy. I'm like, you, you got to have that energy to do the stuff you do. And I'm like, it's a lot of napping for sure. <laughs> I probably just got. Thank I probably you. just got to smoke a little less, and I'll get that energy back. You know, but uh, uh, but yeah, make sure you guys go to flavorsbyezone.com. Uh, the I, I am working on the holiday candles. They might come a little bit earlier than usual because I know my candles usually sell out. So make sure you guys uh, get those. Thank everybody who bought the Halloween one. Uh, I will be restocking everything this weekend. The baller jars are brand new. There's three new shirts that I'm going to be picking up from the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast. So uh, salute to, uh, tr- what is it, uh, Real Recognized Real Clothing. They uh, make all my stuff uh, as of recently for all the T-shirts. It's been very high-quality T-shirts, and hopefully you guys are enjoying them. Also, uh, we are working on new stuff with High and Hungry, so look out for those uh, upcoming episodes. Follow High and Hungry TV, and uh, hopefully, hopefully, I mean, I will see you guys at the Deftone show tonight. So, in San Diego, so I'm, I'm, I'm betting on it. Yeah. So, um, uh, without, uh, stay, stay tuned for the closeout. Peace out. See you in a minute.
Jack knocks like a bow. Cop drop like a bow. On top like a bow. Pay the cow like a bow. When I blow like a bow. Big house like a bow. Repping out like a bow. Who the boss, nigga? Who the motherfucking boss? Who the boss, nigga? Who the motherfucking boss? Who the boss, nigga? Who the motherfucking boss? Who the boss, nigga? You see the motherfucking boss. Young thug, a motherfucker, the boss of all bosses. That's right. AKA, he who the king of the knife is. Wars won, no losses. Who wanna compete? Who wanna compete? With the chief of the police who got the keys to the streets. I'm a poor time hustler. Part time rhymer, I'm having things for real. You punks ain't no grinders. You fools just went to school and learned to use Pro Tools. And try to copy your G moves off the 10 o'clock news. You can't survive in my shoes or afford to pay my dues with your cartoon crew. You niggas destined to lose. I rock in my num and 50 cent crowd and spend most of my weekends cruising the ball clouds. From the west to the south, way to the east coast. I switch time zones more than hoes, switch clothes. I was born to be on top, top. Born to call shots, shots. Born to cop drops and stick out red knots. I'm like a bow, like a bow. Stack knots, like a bow. Cop drop, like a bow. On top, like a bow. Bow, pay the cow like a bow when I blow like a bow big house like a bow rep the now like a bow who the boss nigga who the motherfucking boss who the boss nigga who the motherfucking boss who the boss nigga who the motherfucking boss who the boss nigga you see the motherfucking boss Those goosebumps every time you come around, yeah. You lose my mind, you make everything feel fine. Worry about those comments, I'm way too young, yeah. It's way too young, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the hind to throw that to the side, yeah. I get those goosebumps every time, yeah. When you're not around. I'm living in that 21st century. 
century Doing something mean to it Do it better than anybody you ever seen Do it screams from the haters Got a nice ring to it I guess every superhero need his theme music No one man should have all that power The clock's ticking, I just count the hours Stop tripping, I'm tripping off the power The system broken, the school's closed, the prison's open We ain't got nothing to lose, motherfucker, we rolling Huh? Motherfucker, we rolling With some light-skinned girls and some jelly rolls In this white man world, we the ones chosen So the night cool world, I see you in the morning Huh? I see you in the morning This is way too much, I need a moment No one man should have all that power The clock's ticking, I just count the hours Stop tripping, I'm tripping off the power Till then, fuck that, the world's ours From the land of the lost, behold the pale horse, or course. Follow me, Wu Tang gotta be the best thing since Starks and Clark Wallabies. African killer bees, black watch on your radio, blowing out your watch. From Park Hill, the house of Haunted Hill. Every time you walk by, your back get a chill. Let's build, we want to talk about skill. I spit like a semi automatic to the grill. Elbow grease and elbow room, baby, play me, baby, fall down, go boom. Party people gather round, count down to apocalypse. I'm the kid with the kid with the golden arms And I'm the motherfucking hot nick Pass the blunt My nigga don't front You had it for a minute but it seemed like a month Now I'm choking, smoking, hoping I don't croak in from overdosing Dosing, hey kid Walk straight past the eye When the left got you open Oh, let's ride Can't stand niggas that floss too much Can't stand Bentleys, they cost too much Can't wanna get up, you can't get touched Can't wanna stick up, you can't get stuck I'm the one that calls you bluff When your boy try to act tough Remember what old Dirty said, I'll fuck your ass up. Now listen. Think you're tripping with? Yes, I'm the boss. Sim 45, white on white. That's Rick Ross. I cut 'em wide, I cut 'em long, I cut 'em fat. I keep 'em coming back. We keep 'em coming back. I'm in the distribution. I'm like Atlantic. I got them pretty things flying across the Atlantic. I know Pablo, Pablo, Noriega, the real Noriega. He owe me a hundred favors. I ain't petty player. The whole thing. See, most of my homies hustle, they still do their thing. My roof back, roof back. my money ride. money ride. I'm on the pedal, show you what I'm running like. When they snatch black, I cry for a hundred nights. He got a hundred bodies, serving a hundred light. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm, every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling. Every day I'm hustling, 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 hustling.
bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Yeah. Straight off the lot, 300 cash, and the car came with a blood in it. Yeah. Lil' mama a thot, and she got ass, and she gon' fuck up a bag. Yeah. Pull up to the spot, living too fast, dropping the dope in the stash. In Italy, got too far, hoes they DM me. Draw the top, when it's cold, but you feel the heat. Be real with me, keep it 100, just be real with me. Eat it up like it's a feast, they say the dope on fleek. Fuck a set pill on me. I saw my nigga, baby, chill with me. The nigga that fucks in the back don't say nothing. Them niggas are kill for me. Back in I count in my sleep, on fleet. I think I spend on that paddy for me. Bitch, I'm a dog in my tree. How about the power and me? I put no bricks in the family. My bitch, she walk around like she Chris Jenner. I used to break in the ammo. Then take up running like the game of Tampa. It's simple, I play with a mantle. Mama said she saw me on Jimmy Kimmel. Canada, cause I'm a minor symbol. Walking with the rats, I'm looking crumble. On that bit, then I tip A nickel for me to take pictures. Not for my leg, but I clip em. Double my cup or triple. Pass on my body, no biblical. I'm not your average or typical. Look at my wrist and it's critical. Hold it up, drop in the temperature. I get that bag on the regular. I got a bag on my cellular. Back in the bag of the vegetables. Back of them cookies, it's medical. Cocaine, codeine, etc. Cocaine and lean, it's federal. I take off men and no never look. I the next when it ends on my schedule. You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Straight off the lot, 300 cash. And the car came with a blood in it. Lil' mama a thot, and she got ass. And she gon' fuck up a bag. Pull up to the spot, living too fast. Dropping the dump in the stash. In Italy, got too far and hoes, they DM me. Draw the top, when it's cold, but you feel the heat. Be real with me, keep it 100, just be real with me. Eat it up like it's a feast. They say the dope won't flee. I know these niggas get sick of me. These chest on my neck, cause I'm ill. I don't even like to freestyle for free. I put in the key and I ride the beat. I don't even come out the house for free. I pay a nigga to drive for me. Jay-Z couldn't even co sign for me. I do what I want cause I'm signing me. I get the, I get the, I get the bag. They get the bag, have to cut it in half. Stop the comparing, y'all making me laugh. Either we have them addicted to cash. Convertible walk, convertible top. My dope got a protocol, look at it how. Scoop, scoop, scoop. And it jump out the pot. Came out the jail and went straight to the top. Take it easy, baby. Middle of summer, I'm freezing, baby. Don't leave me, baby. Just drop to your knees and please me, baby. I'm fascinated. Two bitches so fine that I announced the baby. Congratulations. She brings so good that I graduated. They had to hate it. I don't fuck with them niggas, they plastic, baby. A trapper, baby. I rub what I own on my masters, baby. It's tragic, baby. I pull up and fuck up the traffic, baby. A savage, baby. I'm killing these niggas, close cash, baby. You get the bag and fumble it. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Straight off the lot, 300 cash. And the car came with a blunt in it. Lil' mama a thot, and she got ass, and she gon' fuck up a bag. Pull up to the spot, living too fast, dropping the dope in the stash. In Italy, got too far, hoes they DM me. Draw the top, when it's cold, but you feel the heat. Be real with me, keep it 100, just be real with me. Eat it up like it's a feast. They say the dope won't flee.